ho, 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 boys. It's on, guys. Welcome to the finals. I've been waiting to say that for three freaking months. Ah, oh, welcome to the finals, guys. Cobalt Streak versus Wolf 21, as you can see. Oh my goodness, we are gonna use the blue baby today. Blue baby, best of three through the chest. Yeah, you're seeing that and hearing that correctly. Cobalt Streak is your home field advantage winner because he went 12, well technically he is 12 and 0 total throughout the entirety of these races. Uh, literally got home field advantage by not losing the entire time. Uh, Wolf throughout the entire season went 10 and 2. Uh, so very close behind in second place, but nonetheless, Cobalt got to choose who they raced with and how uh, how long the uh, the races would be. Uh, we knew they'd go to the chest, but he chose uh, Blue Baby, best of three. To update you on the new rules for this now, uh, the D6 is now also completely banned. So the D6, the Bible, Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, the Shovel, and Ipecac are all outlawed. Other than that, everything is fair game. Uh, these two are on a call, and they are going to get rolling whenever they are ready. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been hyped for this for about three months. Uh, so I'm ready to go whenever you guys are, quite honestly, if you can hear me. Uh, take your time, though. Whatever floats your boat, guys. But again, good luck to both racers today. They have come so far to get to this point. It is ridiculous to think about. Uh, about a good three months in, basically, and here we are in the finals. Uh, for those who want to see it also, we have information for next season as well. Oh, look at this. We're getting pretty close, guys. They're moving towards the doors. Oh, and there we are. We are off and running in the finals, and you can see how instantaneously close those are, which is awesome. I was about to explain the stream delay, but there is no need. Those two are dead on on this one. Awesome. So we are off and running. Good luck. Have fun, racers. Oh, boy. Here we go. Blue baby. Best of three to the chest. So, again, the blue baby, the difference between he and Isaac is that, as you can see, they only have soul hearts, those blue hearts. You at no point will get a red heart. Health up items only give you one soul heart. Case in point, right there, Cobalt Streak just got the first item, which is the all stats up mushroom. Every one of his stats went up by one, including his health, and as you notice, he just replaced the one blue heart that he had. Same thing, uh, Wolf has got an eternal heart already, uh, which is actually protected by those other soul hearts. Funny part to that, at the moment, that's basically just half a heart for him. Uh, that will only turn into a blue heart on the next floor for him. So it's kind of cheese ball in that effect, but nonetheless, it's it's a lot different with these. Ooh, and Robo Baby for Wolf is his first item. So we've got two very interesting first items here. No resets needed. I'd be very happy with either of these, but we are starting off very, very interesting here. On that note, Cobalt finishes off in for his first boss. Ooh, gets damage and health up. So again, there you go. The health up turns into just a blue heart this time. So ho ho mercy. Here we go. Four blue hearts to start off with. And Cobalt's the first on to basement, too. Uh, Wolf at the moment fighting the Headless Horseman, so it looks like he's going to wind up with flying on the first floor if he can get through this. Very interesting items to start this off with. Uh, Edmund must be uh, feeling a little bit bad about the fact that they have to use a blue baby for this run. On this note, Wolf is down already to just that half a blue heart and the one eternal heart already. Ooh, lordy. Like I said, this uh, there's <laughs> to quote Cobalt, he wanted to see some deaths. There's number one. So it, there may need to be a counter for this, because Blue Baby is not nice. And don't think that just because that's the first floor that, like, you know, because Cobalt's past that, it's all good. Oh, it's it gets nasty, guys. The Blue Baby runs get nasty. So we're already at one death, folks. This is just proof right there. But Cobalt flat out said, I want to see deaths. Ooh, check that out. Mini Mush is uh, Wolf's new first item. So again, something you'd not be too upset with. You can see his size is a lot smaller. Uh, technically speaking, he's, like, twice the size smaller. Ooh, ooh. Wow, an instantaneous teleport into a devil deal. The first devil deal for Wolf is Krampus. Wow. That's a hell of a second room to have to walk into. Not even walk into it, but get teleported into it for Wolf. Interesting day so far. Like I said, blue baby runs. They get interesting. Just prepare for that. Ooh, little chubby for Cobalt Streak's second item as he comes across it finally here. Or comes across a key to get in there, I should say. But very, very, very interesting item so far. This is going to be a fun one, folks. I can tell you already, this is going to be some serious fun. Yeah, teleport into the... That was basically a teleport into the Devil Deal slash God Room, whichever it happened to be. Uh, and here's the other thing that you tend to see very often when you're the Blue Baby. You tend to see a lot of these horsemen fights, so you tend to build a lot of uh, Meat Boys. 
So this uh, that'll be another thing to look out for. But you can see here, little chubby working uh, working its magic for uh, for Cobalt Streak. If you line that up correctly, that is a thing of absolute beauty. There's that coal picked up by Wolf. Let's see. Ooh. The other issue with the Devil Deals, as you can see, everything costs three blue hearts for the most part. So those are really expensive, especially at the very beginning. Those are very expensive deals. Uh, Wolf, on the other hand, as I was saying, picked up the coal. As the shots move further away, they are going to increase in size and thusly again in damage. And let's see, Cobalt went back to pick up that uh, belt, so he gets a little bit extra speed up. He's going to have to fight off, I think it's too many bosses on this floor. I'm not 100% positive. Troll, how you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, what's up, Mike? And again, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for coming out again today. Can never say thank you for that enough, but seriously, much love, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and uh, yeah, prepare for a lot of really awesome action here. And there again is the uh, uh, the meat, so Wolf gets uh, one blue heart back along with one damage up in the process. And he'll be moving on to his basement too. So right now both racers are on the same floor. Here's another important factor. Those item rocks become absolute godsends. Notice the Wolf just got two blue hearts out of that, so that's huge for your health up right there. Those blue rocks, if they happen to have two soul hearts, are gigantic for you. Also keep in mind, no red hearts can ever be picked up, so you're going to see, like, Cobalt just passed that one there. Red hearts are useless. They are absolutely useless to you. You will never be able to touch them. Uh, what was the question? Uh, how does uh, the half-white heart affect uh, Blue Baby? Same thing, just turns into one blue heart. Just turns into one blue heart at the next floor. Oh, I called this. I totally called that. The Yum Heart, once again... Utterly useless item right there. I called that on accident, Wolf. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I called that. Commentator's curse before I went live. Somebody asked what the first items would be. I said Yum Heart. That's a troll item right there. So, uh, again, because you have no red hearts, the Yum Heart is completely useless to you as a blue baby. Prepare for that. Other good things, uh, the Polaroid is very useful later on. Uh, as every time you get hit, it's going to give you a 5-second damage shield. Uh, you can also get into every blood challenge room instantaneously because you have no red hearts. Yeah, what's up, crazy? And absolutely. Here you go. Oop, troll beat me to it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, troll. Ooh, god room and some health up there for Wolf, so let's see what he pulls out of this. Along with a little bit more health up there. Ooh, very nice. Blood of the Martyr, so a little bit of damage up. One of the things you're always looking for on a blue baby run is damage up, so that'll be uh, breathing slightly easier for Wolf there. Uh, he gets a Curse of the Labyrinth here on his uh, catacombs. Which, actually, that could possibly be an XL floor as well. Even though it didn't say it, that could. We'll have to see what turns out here. In fact, I think it has to be. I believe Wolf actually has an XL. We will find out if we see rooms overlapping like they should, though. That's really weird that it just says Catacombs, though. Ooh, Mom's Pill Jar for Cobalt. Or Mom's Bottle of Pills, I should say. Will he be willing to take pills? This is going to be a question. I, I was going to say, I bet you he'll take the poop with. Wow, he actually took him. Risky move by Cobalt that I never expected to see him make there on the left. Cobalt doesn't tend to take too many pills in this game. But actually took one there, got some speed up again. So that's his second speed up item so far. He's also picked up the belt. So Cobalt's moving along very quickly here. And let's see, no thanks to that challenge room. He's going to go fight the boss first. And once again, the irony of last night, uh, little Chubby is going to be fighting Chubb. Awesome. Love how that works itself out. So there you go, the uh, the little version actually tearing apart the large version here. Hmm, irony. And Wolf has found his item room here for the, uh, the catacombs. So it does look like he just has a normal uh, Caves 1 floor. That's very odd. <laughs> Don't hate me, I'm taking one pill. <laughs> It's only fair. Ooh, $3 bill for Wolf. So let's see, dessert will be more health up for... Ooh, one pill? One? I count two. Uh, but more pills there. He gets a little bit of range down there, so health up but range down. So it evens itself out for Cobalt Streak. And let's see, Wolf is going to wind up... Nope, he does have an XL floor. It just didn't look like it at all. I'll be damned. So there's the first of Wolves' two boss fights on this floor. So that's the first indication I've seen other than the naming. So here's the deal, guys. If you see something that says catacombs when you walk into the first uh, floor uh, of any of them, like the caves, the basement, uh, if it doesn't say a number on there, that is always an XL floor. 
Uh, it didn't look like it, so I wasn't 100% sure there until we saw the two bosses side by side. But you'll get two boss fights, you'll get two item rooms. Uh, only one store, one secret room, and one super secret room still. What's up, Vape? How you doing? Good to see you, sir. But Wolf here will be ripping on through the second of his two boss fights. Ooh, very nice. Uh, well, not the Cat of Nine Tails, that's kind of useless. On the other hand, he gets another God Room. Ooh, with the Holy Grail in it, so health up and flying ability for Wolf. So there's that flying that he didn't take right out or didn't get right off the bat because he didn't get the flying or the uh, the headless horseman this time. So he'll be very happy to take that with. Uh, should mention Cobalt Streak has also got the missing page. Uh, if you get hit, that I believe is a 33% chance to use the Necronomicon. But yeah, the Cat of Nine fails. Uh, his shot speed for uh, for Wolf after picking that up actually increases. So the movement of the shots on screen increases with that. And there you go, the poop glitched out again. It's actually over absolutely nothing. I've had that happen before. I tweeted Edmund the picture of that. Like, your gravity means nothing to me. But yeah, Wolf... Wow, that got way louder. Uh, but Wolf's, uh, Wolf's poop use on a space use item kind of glitched itself out there. 33's red patch. Okay, so it's only 10 on that. Best of three right here, Master Skull. Best of three with Blue Baby through the chest. So let's see, two of spades for Cobalt. He'll use that and double up his keys. Why not? I'll take that health up off of the stem cells. He's going to have to fight too many bosses, but as you can see with Little Chubby, if you can line that up correctly, that will rip right on through him, so this shouldn't take too much time. Wolf going back around. Still looking for that second item room here. This is a very not XL looking floor, though. This is very odd. Ah, no problem at all, Master. And there's that second one taken care of for Cobalt. As you can see, that red heart means absolutely nothing, so he has to pass on that. All right, Wolf considering using one of those three keys. In fact, I believe he's going to. Ooh, once again, one of those Eternal Hearts. This will answer your question, Rum. So it's always protected, the Eternal Heart, that is. It's protected by your Soul Hearts, the Blue Hearts. Uh, so he'll probably take that onto the next floor with him unless, you know, something god-awful happens here. Uh, but beside the point, you'll see what happens there. Hey, I'm attack. How you doing, man? Ah, uh, no, we have just started, basically. There's already been a death, but we have just started. So these two are looking pretty even right now. Uh, Wolf is on an XL floor, just looking for the second of his two uh, item rooms. Already taking out both of his bosses. Wow, he's defying gravity with that poop today. Wolf and his gravity defying craps. I don't know, man. Wolf poop. It's scary. No, um, so there's the dead bird for Cobalt Streak. Uh, not really one of the greater items. If you get hit, that uh, dead bird will pop out, fly around the room, and do damage to enemies. Uh, again, later on in the game, that can actually really come back to haunt you. Uh, that I really hate that against the last two bosses in this game. That gravity defying crap. <laughs> there is Wolf's second item room, so we'll see what he winds up with here for the last of his two item rooms in the caves. And again, Cobalt moving on to his Caves 2 boss, so these two are pretty neck and neck right now. Uh, Wolf just has to make his way all the way back across the uh, the map here. And, ooh, very nice. Picking up little Steve, so a little, uh, as you can see, follower with those purple homing shots. Not the greatest of damage, but definitely not the worst of things to have. Any extra DPS is DPS. And looks like Wolf is going to actually take the long way through here and see what he can't find in the rest of the rooms. Not quite enough money for the store. I wonder what he's going for here. Nope, he is going for the store. Never mind. All right. Cobalt finishing off his boss. Magic 8 Ball. That'll be Tears Up. Uh, the Devil card there, which is a... Ooh. A use of the uh, the Book of Belial. Yeah, I, yeah I'm going to say he'll pass on both of those. At three hearts apiece for those uh, cat items. Those are definite passes in the Devil Deal for Cobalt. And he is moving on to Necropolis. So that is a uh, expansion version of the Depths. Ooh, let's see. Wolf, yeah, I was going to say, Wolf will actually take that. So the wire coat hanger for a little bit of a shot speed increase. Or not shot speed, but a fire rate increase, I should say, for Wolf. He'll fight a couple mini bosses for that. Ah, yeah, sorry. Damage per second. I always I abbreviate it because I've played so many uh, MMOs. <laughs> I assume we all know what MMOs are at this point, but... Massively multiplayer online games. You get the idea. Ashy, how you doing? Yep, we're going all the way through the chest. So best of three with the blue baby all the way through the chest. For the finals, we are going full bore here. 
So again, for those who don't know, this is the actual finals of the Binding of Isaac Racing League's first season. Uh, again, we got some information up already for the uh, the second season. So give that a check. Uh, we'll have the, uh, the sign-ups up really soon, I mean. And I mean, like, really soon. Uh, hopefully, like, tonight, tomorrow, we'll have the actual sign-ups up. If that ever links. There it is. So there's your uh, your information if you want to check that out, if you think you're interested at all. But uh, we will hopefully have way better prizes for next season, too. Uh, from uh, from what I understand, the cash prizes will be quite immense. So you will be very happy with them. Like, you may come close to paying your rent for a month if you win. Just saying. <laughs> What's an MMO? Hey, you never know. What's up, JB John? Uh, hopefully that's a J under there, because the face is kind of covering it. I think that's a J, though. Oh, I hope it is. Otherwise, I'm wrong. We're going to call you John, if nothing else. But how you doing? Pl yeah, welcome in. Pleasure to meet you. Boy, if I could talk, I'd be dangerous. I'd be very dangerous. But again, welcome in. Ooh, the world card for Wolf. So very nice find there on the right. That'll be a uh, full map reveal. So if he's probably going to hold on to that until he gets all the way to the chest and try to make that go as fast as humanly possible. At least I would. Maybe if you get an XL floor on the womb maybe consider using it there uh but it's it's obviously all really dependent on situation by the way cobalt doing a phenomenal job dodging here in the uh, super greed fight i'm not saying it was greed because it was super greed it's john awesome done and done Oh, and I, geez, I didn't even see that. I wasn't paying attention. Cobalt's also got cancer. So as you can see, that actually doubles your your uh, tier rate. So as you can see, his uh, shots are coming out twice as fast as they normally would. So he's firing at double the speed. Uh, prizes for this one. Uh, MC Pro Hosting is actually uh, giving the winner a, uh, a nice little uh, cash prize. So I'm not 100% sure exactly how much it was, but uh, whoever wins today is getting a, a nice cash prize from MC Pro Hosting. I believe it was Matt that actually offered it up. Uh, but the same guys that sponsored our monthly races last night, so mcprohosting.com is actually giving the, uh, the winner a, a nice little chunk of change here. Oh, that sucks, Ashy. Well, keep in mind, we're doing basically the way that it's looking. We're, well, not the way that it's looking, but we're going to have one kind of European league and one kind of North American league, if you will. Uh, basically, if you look at the times on there, I'll allow scheduling at, like, any point between, like, Thursday night and uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, so, basically, like, that's it's we're going to get all 16 races each, each week done in that frame of time. Ooh, super wrath for Wolf. Hey, thank God he can fly. That would not be a fight I'd want to see otherwise. Because as you can see at the moment, he's basically making it a joke. Oh, they really are, Nom Nom. You're not even kidding. Oh, I'd recommend it, Death Star. Because again, uh, here's the other thing, guys. Like, it's it's kind of crappy. I'll explain it as, as quick as I can here. Um, I don't even know how else to say it, except that, like, I kind of have to choose. Like, I can't just make it random at that point, so I kind of have to choose. Um, which is really crappy, I know, but, like, and, and I'm not gonna play favoritism like all my friends must get in you know what i mean like nothing like that so i will make it as fair as humanly possible like if there's a toss-up for me i will randomize those names like that type of thing but you know what i mean like i have to choose because that's a huge commitment that's like five and a half months so i like i almost have to choose i i can't just like pick random people i've never heard of met before seen your stream anything like that anybody that signs up though i will definitely be looking into your stream i will i'm taking it seriously i'm not just going to be like oh okay i've never heard of you <laughs> goodbye you know like i will look into your stream don't misunderstand me exactly ramza like he has donated some serious time and money Ooh, very nice pinking shears for uh for wolva's this excellent item so again uh wolva at this point Ooh, oh, wow finding one of the banned items <laughs> so again that makes up for the pinking shears but nonetheless the bible one of the banned items uh this time there is no d6 whatsoever available that is also one of the banned items so wolf had no choice but to just look at that and walk on past it nothing you can do in that situation so he, he isn't really too upset about that but yeah the bible is one of the uh the banned items i totally missed what cobalt just got sadly that's terrible. I was looking away for a brief second and totally missed what Cobalt just picked up. Ah, looks like the uh, attack fly. I just see it now. Ah, I see it now. Ooh, very nice find for Wolf. There, this is why it's a nice find. 
these uh, machines tend to give out quite a few uh, soul hearts. So, the, and there you go, the second one he's found already. So this is basically a health up machine for a few pennies for Wolf. Yep, the Forever Alone Attack Fly. Uh, why is the Bible banned? Good question. Uh, if you take that to the mom's uh, foot or, uh oh, or mom's heart fight, more get out of the wall, please. More, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't you glitch on Cobalt War. Don't you glitch in the finals. Don't you start this now. That will happen, and he will glitch out sometimes, so that worked out fine. So Cobalt's got his second piece of meat, uh, second cube of meat, I should say, and a god room. Oh, with the relic. Now that is a key item. Uh, every few rooms that you clear out, that is that relic will spawn soul hearts for you. That is huge on a blue baby run. That is gigantic on a blue baby run, so that is a huge, 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 huge help. Uh, as you can see, the pinking shears are being used by Wolf right now. Uh, he was able to fly anyways, but you can see his body is running around the room, spurting blood out. It's not being so smart, and it was chasing the wrong thing. But nonetheless, uh, that would actually do damage if it were to actually hit enemies. So Wolf's going to take the sun card. <laughs> yeah, we already know that that's the Bible in there. Wolf's going to take the sun card with. That's now actually only a two-part use. Uh, there is no full heal ability off of it anymore because you have no red hearts. So that is just a map reveal and damage to the room. Just. It's still great. Uh, anyways, back to the Bible. Why it's banned. Sorry, I had to catch up on things. Back to why the Bible is banned. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you take that to the Mom's Foot and Mom's Hard Fight, that is a one-hit kill on both of those. Uh, so if you think about how long that Mom's Hard Fight can be, uh, that would save a buttload of time. So that was actually voted out 100%. So both versions of Mom get one-hit killed by it if you use it. Uh, does the body with the shears uh, act the same as Dead Bird, or is it smarter? I would say it's slightly smarter, believe it or not, because uh, it doesn't hang around you constantly as much, uh, but it's not much smarter. Ooh, once again, two items. We got Mom's Bra, so finally the poop gets replaced for Cobalt Streak in his last possible item room, and he gets something at least decently useful out of it, Mom's Bra. Uh, you'll see him use it from time to time. That'll actually uh, freeze everything in the room. It's either freeze or push everything back from you. I think the tampon's the one that pushes everything, or the pad, rather, is the one that pushes everybody back. Uh, this one should freeze everybody. Also, there's your first soul heart out of the relic for Cobalt Streak. Uh, Wolf also picked up a uh, stem cell, so he got a little bit of health up, just that one blue heart out of it. Ooh. Interesting. So, the habit for Cobalt Streak. He's got not the greatest of space use items, but nonetheless, he's got the habit. So, if he comes across, let's say, in the chest, a very useful space use item. That will come in handy. Uh, every time you get hit, that will actually give you a half a full charge on your space use items. So two hits equals you can use your space use item again. Wow, and the beggar being a buddy. Really on this? Mom's coin purse from the beggar. And he's got mom's coin purse in the next room. So let's see, he's found bombs or key pills. Wow, that's a lot of pills. <laughs> Cobalt has got a lot of pills. Ooh, luck up pills also. So there's the bra usage. Wow, that's insane. So, eight pills for Cobalt Streak. I think he's finally going to start eating a few of them. And last item for Wolf will be the Sack of Pennies. That's not the thing you want to see right now. Every couple of rooms that you uh, defeat, that will drop a uh, random coin for you. Uh, again, this is the last war with a store, though, for Wolf. After this, there are no more. Uh, from the womb and beyond, you basically only have a couple things to spend uh, money on, and those are arcades. Anything in the arcades you can spend money on. Uh, maybe if you find a Judgment, uh, Beggar, uh, things of that nature. Other than that, though, there's really nothing you can use money for. So many pills. So Cobalt should just about be done with this room. And if he didn't freeze Peep on screen, there you go. So he takes him out there. Uh, so let's see, more speed up, another Bombs are Key, another I Found Pills and Atom. Uh, another bombs are key and another I found pills are in Atom. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, the uh, yellow speed up. So, yet another speed up. So, I believe uh, Cobalt's gotten four speed up items out of this run so far. So, he should be uh, hauling butt. He is hauling butt right about now. Uh, why can't you see Cobalt's map? Another great question. He has got a Curse of Darkness on this floor. Uh, so, that uh, Curse of Darkness basically makes it so you cannot see your mini map. Speaking of arcades, Wolf has found a use for that uh, coin bag that hasn't really come into play too much yet. He'll be as fast as Neo at this rate. <laughs> oh, God. Perfect. Oh, no problem at all, HP. Uh, wow. Actually, we're going with 
Oh, shit. I have no idea. Why, where do you, how do you want me to abbreviate your name, or how do you want me to say that? Oh, wait. I see it. It's Danja. Never mind. I read it backwards, finally. I read it backwards. I got your name now. Duh. What's up, Cleo? How you doing? That was a Boykin. And Awaken says good luck to both of the racers if you guys happen to be able to hear. Yeah, it took me a second, Dan. It took me a second. I got it now. <laughs> oh no, masks. Good thing that uh, Cobalt Streak has actually got this cat. I swear to God, if you knock the power out, I'll kill you at this point. <laughs> Oh, I'd be so mad. Anyways, as you can see, uh, Cobalt Streak using the uh, Mom's Bra against those mask enemies, and oh, do I hate those things. But that makes those an absolute joke because it freezes them in place there. What's up, Sturmy? Oh, what's up, Taptor? How you two doing today? Uh, what's happened in the race so far? We've had one death, believe it or not. Uh, other than that, though, it's been basically a lot of skill as far as dodging and a lot of pills for Cobalt Streak. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Cobalt Streak has found and eaten 10 pills so far in this run. So, you want to talk about crazy things happening? Cobalt Streak is eating pills in the races. He's eating pills in Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. And he was eating them randomly. Uh, Wolf took the, uh, the death, actually, very early on. So, that was on the first floor that he was on, believe it or not. Uh, took a death there and uh, restarted very quickly. And as you can see, they're both on depths two right now. Uh, so, again, Cobalt Streak's got a uh, uh, Curse of Darkness, so you can't see his mini-map. So, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where he stands by comparison to what Wolf is looking at. Uh, but they are both on the same floor right now. So at this point, it's basically a race to find the boss, which, there you can see, Cobalt Streak is there. It's kind of hard to tell. I can't think of his map layout in my head at the same time. Uh, but there you see, Cobalt is fighting Mom already, so the gray version of Mom, and Cobalt ripping right on through her already, almost at 75% health on her. Perfect timing on using that uh, Mom's Bra. As you can see, if you can keep the eyeball open, you can just keep damaging it the entire time. So beautifully, beautifully executed there by Cobalt Streak. And he rips right on through Mom, so he's going to pick up his Polaroid. Again, dropping cancer for that, but it has to be done. Going to teleport out and see what else he can do on this floor, if anything. And looks like he's going to... What is he going to do? What is Cobalt going to do? Is he going to look for a secret room? Hmm. Uh, the Goat Hoof is uh, plus movement speed. What's up, Pajamas? How you doing? Ah, didn't even see that. Didn't even see the uh, the purple gambling in there. That would totally explain it. So going for a secret room, might as well try. Nope, not going to happen. And looks like Cobalt's going to be moving on to the womb. Oh, wow, item martyr for Wolf as well. So this gets interesting, folks. Uh, with the pinking shears and item martyr, you have a chance to reuse the pinking shears in the same room that you've used them in once already. That is kind of very, very, very useful from what I've seen. Uh, I've had as many as four of my character's bodies running around the room at the same time by using the pinking shears four times. So it gets very interesting. So side-by-side -side habits as well. Uh, so if you get hit and you have enough health to compensate for this, uh, like on some of the last boss fights, you can get hit quite a few times and have multiple bodies. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy fun. I don't know that they're necessarily doing that much more damage, but it sure seemed like they were. I think it like exponentially decreases, that's for certain, but nonetheless, they sure seem to do more damage. It's not like, oh, I got four bodies, boom, 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 it's dead. But, oh, and look at that, Wolf's got Diana's crown. More money, pageant boy for Wolf. And there's his Polaroid. So again, you have to take the Polaroid with you. We were going all the way through the chest. So you saw Cobalt gave up his uh, his double shot speed with uh, with Cancer. Had to be done. He needs that Polaroid, and he does not have, uh, oh, what's it called? Mom's coin purse, I believe it is, for the, uh, uh, the purse that you hold on to that gives you double trinket slots. Uh, seeing as neither came across that so far, they had to leave behind what they had and both take the Polaroid. It's the only way to get into the final level. You think Wolf might catch up? He's technically only two rooms behind right now. Ooh, small rock for Cobalt Streak. Very nice find there. Again, what happened there was that any uh, any red rock within the, uh, the womb can actually be an item rock. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. If you have plenty of bombs and you want soul hearts or a chance at that small rock, that's how to do it. Any of these rocks can do that. So that was incredibly lucky. Exactly, Yusuke, incredibly lucky. And again, there's Cancer showing up on both sides now, as Wolf can't take that, but there it is. Nonetheless, um, Small Rock, I totally didn't mention. Two damage up, one tier rate up, and one speed down off of that item. So again, with, with Cobalt's plus four speed that he's gotten, that speed down is moot point. Uh, the big parts were that he got two damage up and one tier rate up. 
So right now, Wolf uh, gambling out what money he's got. He's going to try to get as many blue hearts as he can here. The more, the merrier. Lover's card is completely useless to him. That'll spawn two red hearts. He'll probably just use it so he can be out of the way. There you go. They do roughly fourth level meat boy. Can't argue that. Definitely can't argue that. All right, so Cobalt having found his boss fight already, ugh, gets a variant. Oh god, I hate death. But the variants of death are even worse. So as you can see, right as the uh, the site spawn, uh, Cobalt is going to wind up pausing here. Well, not pausing, but wind up uh, making them stop in their place. If you get, uh, as you see, if you get war down, or not war, I'm sorry, if you get um, death all the way down uh, to the point where he gets off the horse, those will actually disappear and you never have to worry about them. So again, Cobalt knowing a few of the little, uh, slight little tricks in this game, doing a great job of executing that. And just about done with the fight already, so Wolf now definitely trailing behind as Cobalt has finished off his boss fight. Oh, I thought he was done already, sorry. Figured that he had like one or two more hits to go. Apparently I misjudged his damage. There we are. And now we have Soccer Boy enacted for uh, Cobalt Streak, as that is, uh, as I was going to say, his third piece of Meat Boy. So no more orbital for Cobalt Streak. Uh, and now, ooh, yeah, no, on the womb too. That's a troll item right there. So remember the rule, uh, you don't want to teleport, especially, well, on the womb too, you do not want to teleport. Uh, if you get an I am error room here and you get an only, stuck in where you can only go down to shale, you are hosed. You're gonna have to restart, so that's why Cobalt Tree looked at that item and went, yeah, no, and just walked right back out. But again, you can see Soccer Boy, I, I call him Soccer Boy, it's three-piece Meat Boy. Uh, four-piece Meat Boy does this just the same, but if you put bombs down, that Meat Boy will kick them. He has no qualms about that. He will kick them all over the place like he thought he was David Beckham. <laughs> if you teleport to an I'm Aaron, you fucks him. Uh, that was the doctor's remote. Uh, so it's the uh, teleporting remote. So every, I think it's like two rooms that recharges. It allows you to teleport randomly to somewhere on the floor. Uh, but you got a 7% chance every time that you're going to hit the I am error room. And that only gives you a way down to the next floor unless somehow you have that charge again and you can get back out. Uh, you're pretty well screwed because we're going up through the chest, not down through shale. So if you teleported on this floor where it showed up, you're taking a pretty big risk. Hey, Bravo. How you doing? So, Wolf having found his boss fight, as you can see, if you get hit and you have the Polaroid as the blue baby, you're going to get a 5 second damage shield every time because you have no red hearts. So no matter what, you're low enough health where every time you get hit, you get that damage shield. And as you can see, there's the two bodies rolling around. Ooh. Also, very nice find. The, the, uh, the, wow. The pentagram followed by the halo in the womb one in a god room. Wow, Wolf just grabbed three damage up right there, let alone almost all of his other stats went up by one. So very nice finds. Getting a couple health up and all of his stats up and three damage up right there. Very, very nice. Hey, Ray. How you doing today? I made that rhyme. Ah, so the blue baby soul, as you can see there for a second, was actually taking, uh, and it's Loki, um, notice my enthusiasm, no, I'm kidding, uh, will actually take your followers and, uh, lead them in a very odd, like, box shape pattern around the room, it's very, very odd. <laughs> you got right, we'll feeling all angelic, feeling all angelic and stuff here. But they are on the same floor right now, you can see they're both on womb two, both just looking for their mom's hard fight, nothing else to really go for here. Cobalt Streak might want to clear rooms to grab some extra health, but at this point he's sitting pretty. He's got 12 full blue hearts right now. Wolf is sitting at 7 at the moment, so uh, I'm not saying it's like done, but Cobalt Streak's got enough health where, along with the Relic, he's looking pretty good right now. So we'll see how this works. Uh, this is all the way through the chest, right? So we're taking best of three, we're taking the blue baby all the way through the chest. And in Wolf's library, we got the Monster Manuel. And we got the Book of Sin, so he's going to use both of those up real quick, just so he doesn't ever see him again, but nothing real special out of those. And, ooh, Jesus Juice, can't argue the range and tears up that Wolf's going to get here. But he will fight a couple of mini-bosses for the cost of that. So he'll take a little bit of extra time while Cobalt Streak just continues romping on through here and finds his uh, mom's hard fight first. <clears throat> Excuse me again, sorry about that. A soccer boy in use. <laughs> like I said, unleash the David Beckham wannabe. Like I said. <laughs> so there's Wolf ripping on through these mini boss fights. That damage up recently has made a huge difference on his tiers. But there you see, Cobalt is the first out of the mom's heart fight. Feels weird not saying, well, this is where we're racing to. We have a lot more to go after this part. 
So there is plenty more to go. Again, very great use of the uh, mom's bra there. Soccer boy kicking the bomb just further into place for him. That was pretty lucky, actually. But already at about the 50% uh, mark on Mom's Heart as the uh, the bra usage kept Mom's Heart down and available for Cobalt Streak to hit. So very nice job. Now let's see. Oof. We'll find in himself the arcade, if nothing else, on his Womb 2 floor. So he's got 32 cents to use. This may not be a real terrible thing. He may head in there just to see if he's got the right type of, uh, of machine. Hey, Tanner, how you doing, man? man? David Beckham wannabe? Who called my name? Definitely not Posh Spice. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> I'll be here all week. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Yeah, Wolf's been rocking the, like, five, six-ish hearts. Ooh, he does have the right type of machine in there. So, yeah, Wolf is going to spend some time gambling here, me thinks. As uh, Cobalt Street finishes off Mom's Heart, and he'll be heading on up to the Cathedral. So you're about to see where this game starts getting a lot tougher as far as the uh, the room layouts go. Wait till you see how some of these rooms uh, lay out enemy-wise. If you guys haven't seen the, uh, the Cathedral and Beyond yet, yeah, there's some pain incoming. Now, mind you, these are two really, really, really talented uh, Isaac players. So don't expect it to be like, oh god, that room was terrible and it's over. Uh, especially with the health that Cobalt Street's rocking. I, like I said, he's, he can take quite a few hits at this point. Alright, so like you see, everything is basically normal bosses slash really nasty mini-bosses here in the Cathedral for uh, Cobalt Streak. But he's moving on along. Wolf has finally gotten himself over towards his boss, now that he knows where it's at. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. So, Chariot card. Hmm. He, I was going to say he's probably going to take that and use that. I was going to say in the next room just to clear out. Yeah, you can't hit those guys with it, but you can kill the brains. Ooh, that was close. He was close to taking damage there. Oh, Wolf has... I see what the problem was. So, again, another really, really key item there that Wolf has, the uh, the Crystal Ball, uh, which is one of the main reasons you want to use the uh, the Purple Machines. Uh, the Crystal Ball is kind of the ultimate reward out of there. It reveals the entire map for you. It will either give you a card or a Soul Heart out of that. Uh, so, again, Soul Hearts, very, very key. Cards, very, very helpful. Not necessarily the biggest key, but nonetheless, very helpful. Uh, right now, Jake, uh, Cobalt Streak on the left is leading. Uh, he's just barely ahead. Uh, he's on the floor beyond Wolf at the moment. But it can all come down to just something as simple as, you know, like, Wolf finds his boss fight on the next floor, like, instantly. So you never know. Uh, it's it's still very, very close. Yeah, could get the Hierophant card. That's a jackpot, exactly. There's yet another Eternal Heart the Wolf's going to pick up, and he'll be moving on up to the Cathedral himself. So there you see, that'll turn into just one Blue Heart for him, but... He'll be using the Sun card here. Nice, making his way straight on over towards his boss. So Wolf's only got a couple of rooms to clear. And as you can see, with a few extra bombs, he's actually going to head on out of that first room that was quite nasty, I gotta say. So I don't blame him on that one. Ooh, there you go. Cobalt Streak has found his boss fight already. So we got about a two-room differential right now, guys. Like, this is close. Like, this is very close. So there you see the, uh, the boss here is actually Isaac that you're fighting. Ooh, very nice dodge there by Cobalt Streak. That was pretty close. So he used his uh, Devil card. He gets Time and a Half Damage Multiplier in here. Oh, Soccer Boy kicked the bomb away on him. Ouch. And as you can see, Wolf is just about to head on into his boss fight. And here we go. So now we are in the exact same room at the exact same time with these racers with one floor to go after this, guys. So again, this is very, very close. All right, so there's that five-second uh, damage shield enacted. As you can see, with uh, Wolf has got the habit, so every time he gets hit, he's going to get a half a charge on that crystal ball. Uh, technically speaking, if he gets hit twice, uh, he'll lose two hearts, but he has a chance to get at least one of them back if he gets the soul heart there. Third phase of this boss finished off here by Cobalt Streak. He's got just... Whoa! What glitchiness is going on with Cobalt's room? Wow, that's flat-out evil. All right, so that happened, but Cobalt Streak is on up to the uh, the chest. Let's see what he gets for his items. Oh, God. Ooh, D6 is outlawed. Youch. So there's the uh, Horror Babylon, so that will always be enacted. Cobalt Streak has got even more damage up now. Mike, oh, no. Wolf down. Oh. I was worried about it, but I didn't want to say anything. Ouch. 
So that's why that fight gets nasty. The more shots you put on that boss, the worse it gets for you, because it is going to fire harder at you. So that resets Wolf all the way back to start, and with Cobalt Streak just picking up even more damage up here and still having at least, I believe, 13 blue hearts. So he is on the last floor. That'll be Mr. Mega for increased blast damage. Everything that uh, you get as far as uh, if you clear out a room, you're going to wind up getting an item. If you get an, like if you get anything, it'll wind up being a pretty damn good item. Uh, even at that point, if you get a chest, it's a lock chest, actually, with an actual item in it. So anything up in the chest is very, very interesting here. And so you're saying there's a chance. So there's yet another soul heart, as uh, Cobalt is definitely not going to argue that fine. Slight little bit of a uh, herky-jerky lag there for a brief second. But we'll on with the uh, shoop to whoop to his first boss. Ooh. Very evil move there. So this is why the chest is nasty. Like, do you really want to fight Greed, uh, Wrath, and Gluttony all at the same time? Wow, look at the size of that damage shield. That is huge. Cobalt's got, like, one of the larger uh, blue babies I think I've ever seen. Like, that thing is quite large and in charge. All right, let's see. Cobalt finding himself a dead end here. Again, though, may not be the worst of all things, because you can wind up getting some pretty decent items off of this floor. Again, I'm sure he is just looking for the boss fight, though. Like, he will be more than happy to just take the boss fight and move on along. When's the last time he actually died in this game? Uh, not last... Was it last week? Last week after... Shit, was that last week? Last week or the week before, during the races, he He died. Yep, he's got the Horror Babylon, basically. So, that's yeah, huge. No pun intended, but that's a huge thing for the Blue Baby. Because you're under uh, the one red heart, because you don't have any. So, technically, zero is less than one, right? Uh, but because you're under that uh, that red heart limitation on it, it's always active. So, you get a nice damage increase. Uh, mind you, you're a lot larger, but nonetheless, you get a nice damage increase all the time as Blue Baby. There is no max damage, so... Oh yeah, the Bomb Snipe versus Guppy Race. God, there were some good ones this season, weren't there, guys? Yeah, let's be honest. With me, there's always pun intended. Yeah, exactly. But let's be real honest here. You're 100% correct there. Yeah, but I think it's much like... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name. Um, Book of Belial. Like, that doesn't double up. Like, mind you, that's a damage multiplier, so that's a little bit different. But, like, Book of Belial, like, even if you use it twice in the same room, doesn't doesn't double you up. Or doesn't double up effect on you, I should say. Wow, that's a nasty dead-end room Cobalt found there. Also, speaking of nasty dead-end rooms, here's one you can't bomb out of. You can't bomb out of any of the rooms in the, uh, the chest. So even if Super Wrath or Super Wrath, <laughs> were to actually put uh, bombs right on the door, it wouldn't matter. Also, Cobalt knocked a bomb through a wall. That's a pretty cool trick, bro. There's some damage you're gonna have no choice but to take. <laughs> oh, Super Wrath, why are you such a troll? And of course, now Wolves getting like all these free item rocks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Where can Cobalt's boss fight be? Surprised he didn't take the remote detonator just for the free five bombs. Good lord, Super Rats, chill out. Wow, enough troll bombs there, man? Goodness. Alright, so let's see here. What else can we do? That was a PTB. How you doing? And quite well myself, thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to see you here. Ah, he already got the bombs out of it. I didn't notice him pick it up. Didn't even notice him pick it up. Oh, let's see. Book of Sin for Wolf. Eh, not what you want to see in a curse room. He'll take it nonetheless, but eh, I'll speed up. At least he got something good out of it. 
There you can see yet another dead end for uh, for Cobalt Streak here. So he's going to use Mom's Bra and get rid of these Hockey Puck Gerties as quickly as humanly possible. Because these things are nasty sometimes. However, that does mean he gets a Soul Heart out of it. And his Relic gave him one too. So even more health up here. And yet another dead end. What? Wow, seriously? It's down on the middle part? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That's an odd spot for uh, for this boss fight. Wow, jeez louise. These bosses are going nuts on him. Uh, the bird foot trinket uh, has a uh, chance that it'll actually give you, when you get hit, uh, Eve's, uh, Eve's uh, dead bird will pop out. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Think you're getting payback for all the criminals he sent to me. <laughs> Will Wolf might catch up. He is flying. So here's the fun part. Cobalt thinking about where is he gonna go here? Has he tried up here? Yeah, he has. Well, no, now he has, I should say. So yet another dead end. So Cobalt would have been right if he would have gone with his gut instinct. I think his gut was telling him to uh, to try south there. I think he was trying to go south there and uh, didn't uh, actually go through with it. Hey, Mentally, how you doing? Cat, for God's sake, can you stop bringing that back over here? I'm not playing fetch with you right now. Can you really not do that? Like, you want to play? You have to, yeah, you have to really announce that one, Cat. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Cobalt is going to <laughs> probably gamble for a few seconds here. Might as well. Yeah, he keeps throwing the freaking uh, toy like right into the power cables. I'll throw it back down the hall. He'll bring it right back over to the power cables and play with it again. I love my cat. I really do. Can you do that anywhere else? There's a reason I'm throwing it. Well, Transcendence definitely aren't going to argue that. So once again, if you can, uh, when you blow up the uh, slot machines, if you were going to get an item out of it, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so nonetheless, transcendence out of a normal slot machine. How often do you see that happen, folks? Really? How often do you see that happen? Only in the chest. And honestly, only in the chest. But yeah, there you go. So, Cobalt gets to fly. And let's see, more health up. So again, you see, when it should be uh, red hearts up, you're actually pairs the boss fight. You're actually only going to get a blue heart out of it. But nonetheless, Cobalt, technically speaking, fighting his own character here. Meat Boy doing some work. Little Chub doing some work. Those bombs definitely doing some work. And Mom's Bra keeping uh, any type of shots from being fired on him. As you can see, the, uh, the Polaroid also going to put in some work here. Every time Cobalt gets hit, he's going to get five seconds of damage shield. He's just going to go side to side here, dropping bombs on the uh, the boss, because that's how you want to take him out. And just like this, Cobalt is flying through this boss fight, because this one is way easier than the last. And just like that, with uh, two more mini, uh, mini enemies, I should say, to go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Cobalt Streak has taken himself a one to nothing lead here in a best of three finals with Blue Baby through the chest. But wow, what a run on that one. Cobalt wanted to see deaths. He got two out of the first round from Wolves. So let's see how this goes from here on out. But woo, that was a heck of a run for the first one, ladies and gents. So I've been excited for this for a long time. And wow, was that skillful right there. Blue Baby through the chest, just flying. So let's recap that. Uh, that was about a 30-minute run, if that. That was about a 30-minute run, Blue Baby through the chest. That's disgusting. And he cleared the entirety of it, exactly. So that's disgusting. And they were both right line in line up until Wolf took that death. So keep that in mind. Like, this was very, very close, guys. On that note, though, we are uh, in between rounds here. So real quick, I'm going to run a uh, couple minutes worth of ads. Get up, uh, take a stretch. Same goes for the, uh, the racers. Make sure you're prepared for the next, uh, next heat here, guys. And uh, real quick, I'm going to run some ads on you guys, like I said. So uh, thank you uh, once again for all the support, guys. Cannot say it enough. Hope you're enjoying the hell out of this like I am. I'll be right back with you in about two minutes here, and just like a normal commercial break on TV, and uh, we'll get the second round going. So again, great job there by Cobalt Streak, awesome race there by Wolf, and we'll get uh, heat number two going where uh, Cobalt will look to take the entire championship. Wolf is uh, looking to stay alive and uh, even this up in one apiece, and I'll get all those links in there for you in one second.
Alrighty, we are back and we are clear. So welcome back guys. We are again are here in the finals. We are just about to start up heat number two of a best of three using the blue baby going through the chest. So again, thank you again for the support on that guys. Uh, again, welcome into the uh, the finals of our first season. As you can see, we got information for the second season uh, linked up in the uh, the chat there. Uh, but we got Cobalt Streak, the uh, the undefeated so far, Cobalt Streak versus Wolf 21. Again, this is a rematch of week 11 where Cobalt Streak won two to one. However, this week we're using Blue Baby through the chest and it looks like they are just about ready to get going here. Uh, so at their leisure, they're gonna get started. And uh, let me get you the game fetch link one more time to get into both of their channels so you can uh, hear them talking to each other. Be sure to mute one so that you don't hear double. Uh, but this will get you into both Cobalt uh, Streaks and Wolf's channel at the same time. There you go, there's the link for you. And again, real quick, in case you didn't see the uh, the information for uh, round or for uh, season two, there you go. Uh, we'll get signups up really soon for that, by the way. But again, we are off and running, so best of luck to both racers. Wolf looking to stay alive here in the finals. Cobalt Streak looking to finish this off and uh, secure himself some money. Uh, sponsored by MCProHosting.com once again. So again, if uh, if I remember correctly from last night, I believe they uh, charge as little as two fifty for a like two dollars fifty cents uh, for a five slot Minecraft server. So if you've got any type of Minecraft needs, I'll type in the uh, the link here for you. But MCProHosting.com is uh, giving the uh, the winner some uh, some cash here today. So once again, the uh, the sponsors of our races, uh, just absolutely awesome people. Uh, definitely hit them up if you got any sort of Minecraft needs, guys, because they are some really really awesome folks and just wonderful sponsors. I gotta say. So again, thank you guys for that. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you both of the racers here for being in the league. Thank you all of our racers for being in the league. This entire season has just been so phenomenal. Like I can't even put words on it. <laughs> I seriously cannot put words on it. And again, as you can see next season, we're expanding. We're going NFL style next season. It's getting legit. So be prepared for next season. On that note, Cobalt Streak already pretty much through his first floor. He's got Cupid's arrow, so he has piercing shots. Uh, as you can see, as he hits stuff, his shots will keep going through it. Uh, getting health up again, as you can see, just that blue heart as we're using blue babies. So no red hearts here again. We'll finish off his boss fight, also getting health up. Uh, again, he's got Little Chubby, which, uh, or Little Chubb, I should say. It is Little Chubby, I take that back. Uh, which we saw last run uh, Cobalt using, so this time Wolf's got use of it. And both have moved on to their basement too. Uh, Cobalt Street getting the expansion version, the seller. 
See you, frog. Have yourself a good one. That's what else I should do with the uh, with the signups. We'll put in like what team uh, you want. Like I'll I'll somehow try to set it up where it's like, okay, what conference do you want in, or specifically what team do you want, to make sure that you pick the right conference. <laughs> like I'll make it I'll make a note of which one's the uh, the Euro conference and which one's the uh, the North American conference. And by Euro, I mean anybody overseas for me. By the way, I'm I'm really generalizing there. Don't think that you have to be in Europe. Like that can be you know I'm I'm doing it by like time frames, if you will. So. Oh, nice. Thank you, Otaku. But yeah, we're, we're basically setting up our 16 are going to be uh, quote-unquote over, overseas. We'll say oceanic or something to that effect. Uh, and then uh, 16 are going to be U.S. So we'll try to even it out there, and then uh, we'll put them side by side, basically. And then at the end of the year, they'll wind up meeting up in the finals. So on that note, Wolf's spending a little bit of time gambling here, as he's got just enough money to do so. Uh, I was going to say, will he bomb anything, though? Uh, I was going to say he might actually get a freebie off of the uh, blowing up the heart machine there, but no such luck. International works, there you go. All right, so Cobalt's second item room gets him 10 bombs. Definitely not going to argue it, but at the same point, not exactly the greatest of things. He could pick up 10 bombs just clearing out normal rooms, so he won't be the most incredibly happy with that. Well, before he fights his boss, he's going to find his item room here. Shouldn't have too much further to go. He's got one more direction to check. <laughs> What's up, Paul? How you doing? Hey, what's up, uh, Mara? How you doing today? Good to see you, sir. <laughs> the rest of the world. <laughs> Ooh, wow, mom's eye. So tears up and uh, every now and then you'll see it. Actually, there you go. Firing out the back of his head. It's always said the moms have eyes in the back of their head. Now so does Wolf, so... What does that say? Well, let me do math here. Oh, God. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so Wolf will, will actually shoot uh, tears out of the back of his head every now and then here. Oh, gotta love it. That's a realistic. How you doing? Nope, Dead Sea Scrolls are, uh, are okay in this one. Next season, they are. So there's Squeezy. That is one of the best boss items you can get here. That is Tears Up and... Oh, God, that's a troll. So the second time Wolf has seen one of the banned items, the Bible is one of the banned items. Second time Wolf has seen that, can't do anything about it because the D6 is also banned right now. Uh, so even if you were to come across it, you wouldn't be able to re-roll anything because you can't pick up the D6. So one of the few uh, item rule changes in, uh, in the finals here. Other than that, though, everything else is still just the same. Uh, so D6, the Bible, Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, the Shovel, and Ipecac are all banned here in the finals. Uh, and again, we are using blue babies, so technically speaking, all red hearts are banned. If you want to look at it that way, you just can't use them. And uh, basically, there's a few other items that are just of no use anymore, such as the Yum Heart which we've also seen show up on Wolf's side, so he's been really trolled heavily by this game so far. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of derp poop so far today, like a lot of them. Wow. This is kind of scary. Cobalt's getting a real bomb build so far, so there's, uh, um, oh lord, I can't think of the name, Mr. Mega, the space use bomb item. He's actually going to take that. So he's going to take it with him as opposed to the poop, which is, I don't want to say useless, but it's sure been glitching out quite a bit. So he's going to have no problem taking a different space use item. Yep, mcprohosting.com is uh, donating a bit of cash to whoever it is that wins. So right now, uh, looking like uh, oh, this race is pretty dead even, so can't even call anybody at this point. But yeah, they're going to uh, wind up giving some cash to whoever winds up winning this one. And then uh, I haven't put the info in for next season what the prices are going to be because we haven't gotten all of them uh, squared away yet, but... I know that there's going to be a lot more cash uh, prize for next season. Like, a lot more cash. Mr. Boom, why did I... I can't believe I said Mr. Mega. I hate the fact that both say Mr. That always screws with me. Always screws with me. Diana! How you doing? Oh, you never even played it? See, that's the thing. Like, it took me a while to be like, you know, uh, you know, I should probably play this at some point. Like, I was watching Man play and was just like... 
man, this is fun as hell. Like, I can't believe how much fun this game looks. And then kind of thought, hey, I'm going to be really bad. Maybe I won't play it. Ooh, the forgive me now. Wolf is actually probably going to use this, I bet. We're going to have to see. The forgive me now resets your entire floor, and we'll use up the forgive me now pill, so you'll have no space use item anymore. But I get the feeling Wolf may actually think about using this here, because he has taken it with him. So he's going to go find his item room, and he may reset his entire floor. That is definitely interesting. Purple Heart is if you uh, uh, just do, uh, what is it, less than three, basically. Uh, that's just the way that hearts look here on Twitch now. All right, so into the item room, getting uh, Peeper out of it. And there's that space use item, so Wolf reset escapes one floor. So that's going to give him a little bit of a disadvantage time-wise, as Cobalt Streak is actually, for all intents and purposes, finished with his floor right now. Uh, so he's probably going to walk back on through and just walk right on down to his caves too. So a very slight lead here for Cobalt Streak as he is taking pills all over the place. There's a health up. Very nice. That still works just the same. You do get a health up, but it is just a blue heart. So it's kind of half of a uh, Hierophant card or uh, uh, half a Balls of Steel pill. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Cobalt has taken all sorts of pills here today. So just more and more pills. He had, what, eight pills in two rooms in the last run. So that should tell you everything you need to know about the type of runs that we've seen so far today. Hey, Eldest, how you doing? Excuse me, sorry about that. For some reason, I have to hack up along every now and then. Anyways, uh, so yeah, there is a uh, uh, time disadvantage for Wolf here, obviously, with that Forgive Me Now. You can see the red patch in acting, by the way. That's a 33% chance that when you get hit in an axe, I remember now. Um, beside the point, there is that Cuban Meat that you wind up getting from Pestilence. Uh, also, the Scapular. Ooh. I don't know how that works with the Blue Baby. I don't think I've ever actually messed with that too much. Uh, that's quite interesting. So will that actually ever spawn soul hearts for you as the blue baby? Obviously not. It didn't right there. So that's interesting, though. It gives you one once per room. No kidding. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Fair enough. I'll be damned. So if you get hit, it gives you one soul heart per room. So that'll basically, at this point, give you a advantage. <laughs> once per room if you get hit. That's pretty crazy. Nope, uh, best of three right now. So technically, ooh, wow, there is one of those things you definitely don't mind finding. The Book of Belial for Wolf. Uh, so that is a time and a half damage multiplier once per room. Uh, ooh. Also with seven cents there, he's going to buy Mom's Purse. So again, more trinket room for Wolf. He'll be able to hold on to two trinkets now. So you'll definitely see him take two on with him into the uh, the chest and beyond. So that is very nice. Well, into the uh, cathedral and beyond, I mean. Technically, uh, depths two and beyond. And Cobalt's got purple tears. <laughs> and he's also got a treasure map now. Wow, so he's going to be able to see the entire layouts of his floors if he doesn't get a Curse of Darkness like he has on this one. Again, uh, Wolf just moving on to his caves too. Uh, Cobalt pretty well has gotten through his caves too at this point. Uh, but Wolf had taken the Forgive Me Now pill on Caves 1, so he actually repeated Caves 1, so this is his third Caves floor right now. If your floor crashes, do you get uh, disqualified? No, we've yet to see one actually crash. There's been some that have taken seven minutes to load, but they've never crashed. All you have to do is wait it out. If you know how to uh, work that correctly, you'll never crash. How could the Polaroid be banned? We're racing through the chest. You have to have it to get to the chest. Required item. So, as weird as it is, like, that is a pretty OP item, for especially for Blue Baby. But nonetheless, you have to have it to get to the chest, so... Has to be done. So, once again, there's that 33% chance of the red patch, and it actually gives you higher damage up for Wolf. So you can see why he is more than happy to take that with. He is, at the moment, looking for a key. 
He would love to get into that item room, but he has no keys at the moment. I don't know why you're worried about one out of 944 people's chat color. And what's up, Tento? Because <laughs> here's the funny part. If you're not one of my mods, don't worry about what other people do. Wow, it's that, uh, that Yumhart troll again on Wolf. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's that lemon mishap. <laughs> I've been trolled a few times. There's been a few trolls in this game so far. Like, bad. And that's the funny part, is like, sometimes when people come into rooms like that, I was gonna say, because I know full well Pinto doesn't use that color, so... But nonetheless, um, I was gonna say, when people come into rooms, it derps out sometimes, it gives you that default, like, I don't know why the hell it defaults to that, but that neon green, like, seafoam or whatever the hell it is, it'll default to that sometimes, so that's why I never worry about it. Especially right off the bat, like, sometimes it just defaults, so... Pfft, who cares? Alright, so the Burnt Penny, as you can see for Cobalt Street, because you pick up money, gives you a chance that it'll pick up bombs. Even at that point, I can read it because I get Ataka's chat add on and I darken it anyway, so. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but what's this about Lemon Mishap? <laughs> Foom kind of looks like Wolf. I've met Foom in real life. I would say, like, knowing that, like, nah, they, they, they look pretty, pretty different. Alright, so we'll get through that room yet. Another Soul Heart. Cobalt just about done with his boss fight here on Caves 2, and Wolf on his boss fight. Oh, God. He's getting the uh, the first of, um, well, usually many Carrion Queens, but at least he gets the best version of it. Uh, this pink Carrion Queen will spit out these little hearts that you can do damage to to actually damage the boss itself. So, very much the uh, the easiest of all of these fights. The, the normal Carrion Queen, definitely not a bro. Definitely not a sis, either, for that matter. Um, she will spit out red poop that are just, ugh, I hate them. They go everywhere, they are nasty, and they hurt you. They are so bad. Ooh, the miter. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Yet another one of those awesome items. I was going to say, let's see what Wolf winds up with here. But yeah, it was the, the miter. 50% chance that your uh, red heart spawns actually turn into soul hearts. Again, on the blue baby, very huge find, especially very early on. Uh, so now all those useless red hearts might actually come in handy for Wolf. So we'll see how much... Uh... <laughs> Princess Diana. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, depends on how you want to look at luck with Wolf getting his, uh, with his, uh, god rooms, because two of them have been the Bible. So think about that. And technically, he's gotten into one of those rooms twice. But, uh, he's been lucky, but at the same effect, uh, twice he hasn't been able to take items out of there. So it could have been a lot better, that's for sure. Ah, two of hearts, completely useless. We'll do absolutely nothing. Why do you have to play in the electrical cables? Seriously. Anywhere else. I love you too, but anywhere else, man. Alright, speaking of the Carrion Queen, Cobalt Street getting through it. There's those red poops I was talking about. So as long as Cobalt doesn't go near that, he will grab that health up. Seriously. Anywhere but the power cables. Yeah, but why do you say that? Two times zero is still twice of what you had. So that makes the two of hearts awesome. Yeah. <laughs> totally. No, not really. <laughs> not in this particular case. <laughs> two times zero is still zero. <laughs> Icon slag. Oh, God, two cat. <laughs> Actually, I think you mean twerbo. Turbo, something to that effect. I don't know how the hell you would put the W into that word, but you get the idea. Pro was so JTV, Diana. God, give it the times. God. What you're thinking of is Turbo. God. <laughs> turbo. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. It's good, but it's terrible. 
So anyways, on the same floor right now for the uh, the racers. Obviously, Cobalt Streak having finished off his boss fight here already is just looking for his item room. Uh, Wolf looking for both. Doesn't know the layout of his floor either, so a very slight disadvantage at this point. We'd say about half a floor, maybe slightly greater, being that Cobalt has gotten through quite a bit of this one. So maybe about three quarters of a floor advantage right now for Cobalt Streak. Again, that can go very quickly. If uh, Wolf comes across both of his item room and his boss fight very quickly, that can change almost instantaneously. B-Star, how you doing? So there you go again. Wolf is going to take that Book of Belial back with him. That is a time and a half damage multiplier, so when you're not really doing that good on damage, that's probably your best bet. At least it's a little bit more for you. How does the Sun card work for the Blue Baby? Uh, all, you, all that happens with it is that you lose the full heal effect. So it still does damage for everything in the room. It'll still show you the entire map. It will not give you any sort of a heal, though. <laughs> Hell, this... <laughs> hey, Beezy. How you doing today? Well, keep in mind the Miter, basically, it, if a red heart spawns, like you see right now, Cobalt Streak's got those two half a red hearts on his screen. Ooh, wow, there you go. Wolf getting nice items now. Freeze effect. That's a huge, huge find for, uh, for the later on levels. Uh, freeze effect. Uh, basically, every time you hit an enemy with those red tiers, has a chance to obviously freeze them in place. Uh, so that uh, will obviously stop them just like Mom's Bra did for Cobalt Streak last time. Again, that is huge against the last couple bosses. If they can't fire against you, you're going to tear them to shreds. And let's see, into the library for Cobalt Streak, the monster Manuel. Not Manuel, but Manuel. And the, uh, the... Good lord. I didn't notice the placement on that gambling. <laughs> awesome placement. So let's see, back in, he's going to take that D20 and walk right back into the last room. Instantly use it. And let's see what we get here. Isaac's head and a couple bombs out of it, so very nice finds. So Isaac's head will be a uh, follower that'll shoot out pretty base damage tiers. Uh, Cobalt goes back for that unicorn horn. He'll take that back on with him and forget the D20. Nope, D20 is usable. Only the D6 and then uh, the other five normal items are banned. And... Uh, even more bomb items for Cobalt. Jeez Louise. Totally forgot that that was in there. Yep, perfect use of the D20 right there. Hey, Tori, how you doing today? Uh, because if you leave the room that, uh... Well, technically speaking, you could pick that up quick enough, I guess. You'd have to do it really fast, though. Uh, but, uh, you could, uh, use the... D20 against the the bombs that come out of the Anarchist Cookbook, but it'd be kind of a pain in the ass to get it that fast to switch over. So it may not always work. And yeah, that battery too for Wolf. My goodness. So let's see. He's definitely not going to take Mr. Boom with him. Uh, he will take the Book of Belial again, especially with that battery. Oh yeah, that's why both of these guys are in the final. You're not even kidding, Clay. Like, it, it, they are so insanely good, like, and uh, Cobalt's challenged me to race him at some point, so I can't wait until the uh, destruction begins on that one, because A, I'm unpracticed as hell, and B, he is ridiculously better than me. Uh, so that, that'll be really, really bad. Uh, the, uh, the, nor or all the banned items here, uh, we'll get to the list here, but, uh, D6, uh, let me just do this so I don't mistype. Anyways, uh, the D6, uh, the Bible, Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, the Shovel, and Ipecac are all outlawed. Uh, so that is just for this finals, basically, the way that that works. Normally, we had the D6 on everybody, uh, but obviously, since we're using the Blue Baby, it was just a normal pickup item this time. Uh, Cobalt Streak had the home field advantage and chose not to allow it. Uh, he also got to choose who they were racing with and what the best of series was going to be. So he chose best of three through the... Well, we already knew it'd be through the chest, but he chose best of three with Blue Baby. Hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing? Uh, basically, if uh, Dead Sea Scrolls come up in this one, they can use it for anything, but if the uh, uh, shovel shows up, they just can't take the uh, the passageway down to the next floor with it. Only stipulation on that right now. Season 2, we're just flat out outlawing them. I 
Uh, D20 rerolls things like keys, hearts, uh, chests, uh, bombs, coins, stuff like that, into other things of the sort. Uh, trinkets would be the other part. Uh, D6, on the other hand, will actually reroll like legitimate space use items and things you can pick up in the item room. It's the same reason we were talking about. It can give you uses of the banned items. So Dead Sea Scrolls can give you usages of banned items. All right, so the dead bird once again for Cobalt Streak. Ugh, and he took it again. That's kind of surprising. I really hate that thing against the last couple bosses in this game, but uh, more power to him. He knows he isn't going to get hit anywhere near as much as me, but there you see what the bird does. As you get hit, it'll pop out and actually damage enemies for you. Yeah, that's the best way to look at it. Rolls non-pedestal items. There you go. That's a better way to describe it. But yeah, I can give you uh, uh, stuff like the uh, the shovel use. Uh, technically, give you epic fetus use, which isn't like really that bad. It's a one-time thing, but we just figure it's easier that way. Like we're we're gonna wind up banning it and just make it easier. That way, there's no questioning. Like, well, what do I do if this shows up? Well, what do I do if it gives you D6? Like you can't. Well, maybe you could. You know, like nobody would use it that way. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. What if it gives you D6? You know, like that way it's just easier. Like nope, it's banned. Deal with it. And yeah, Piercing Shot, especially against bosses like uh, what Cobalt Street's fighting right now, is phenomenal. Because each one of those three pieces technically counts as something you can hit. Uh, so as you can see, like, each one of those is taking damage. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. And yeah, that Book of Shadows, by the way, 12 seconds of invincibility. So you get a damage shield put up around you for 12 full seconds right there. And again, there's that Game Fetch link for you. Uh, that'll get you into both Wolf and Cobalt's uh, channels side by side. Be sure to mute one of them, though, because they are on a call together, so otherwise you're going to start hearing double. And you're going to kind of wonder where the heck that's coming from. So Wolf will finish, or I'm sorry, Cobalt will finish off the uh, mini bosses here. Let's see. Yeah, gets the key out of it. Wow, oh, early Polaroid. Uh, well, it really doesn't matter. It's about a one room early Polaroid. Don't think he's going to get too much use out of that, so he's just going to leave that behind for the time being. And speaking of that Book of Shadows, we have Dueling Book of Shadows right now. Although Cobalt's going to leave it behind, he's going to take the Unicorn Horn back with him, so he gets damage along with the uh, the invincibility, though slightly less time on the invincibility. Well, yeah, but you have to get hit to take that extra five seconds of damage, Shield Thunder. Difference between Unicorn Horn and Game Kid? Uh, Game Kid heals you as you uh, eat enemies. Unicorn Horn just gives you seven seconds of invincibility and damage. Yep, exactly correct, Maxim. Exactly correct. You are correct, sir. The Game Kid is more awesome. Yeah, exactly. You get to be Pac Man, kind of. <laughs> How can you go wrong? I mean, really? All right, so Goldball making his way back on over towards his boss, so he'll be fighting Mom's foot here. But my cat is just, like, laying, staring into the hallway. Like, there's something interesting going on. Oh, Blue Mom. So the worst version of Mom that you can come across, especially in my personal opinion, uh, does nothing but spawn expansion enemies on you. So you'll see Cobalt here will uh, start taking advantage of that Unicorn Horn. That seven seconds of invincibility and damage will uh, get him to about the halfway mark here. So very nice usage. Wolf's got only one direction that he can possibly go here on this floor. Yeah, Blue Mom is terrible. I'm with you on that one, Jack. I hate this fight so much. I hate this fight. Just the enemies that she can spawn on you. All these expansion enemies. The butt lickers, these jumping spiders, the splitting spiders, the mini greed heads. Those things, those butt lickers, those... Ugh, I hate those. But, even more so, I hate these enemies the wolf is fighting. These little... Oh, God, I hate these masks. I hate these masks so much. But, wolf making a very, very nice job of that room. Very, very well done. Getting his last item room here, and it's going to be a little bit of range up with Mom's lipstick. And there you go. Cobalt finishing off Mom. We'll get uh, his Polaroid. We'll get... Damn. Got three soul hearts, technically a fourth as he goes on to the next floor. Uh-oh, and gets the loading screen error. This might be an XL floor coming up in the womb for Cobalt Streak here. We don't tend to see too many of these loading screen errors on Cobalt's. Yes, it is. A utero XL, and he's got the entire map revealed. 
Wow. So Cobalt is only looking for two boss fights right now. This might make this a very, very fast floor, or it could take a very, very long time, depending on how this works out. Wow, Cobalt's got better range than the uh, the Mimic did. Ha! <laughs> Gotta love it. So again, this is both of uh, Cobalt's uh, womb floors crammed together into one. So this is womb one and womb two together in one fell swoop here. Yeah, this could definitely get interesting. So again, Wolf has found his mom's heart, or mom's foot fight, I should say. I'm sorry. Totally said the wrong word. He is down to two hearts right now. Cobalt rocking a good ten hearts as he just got hit. Uh, you see anything in the womb and beyond will hit you for one full heart of damage, by the way. So you always have to keep that in mind. Oh god, Mara. <laughs> Uh, it could be more filler rooms to go through. It depends on if you're lucky enough to uh, to find where you're going. Like, I don't know, for example, why he went this way. A little bit more than confused. A little bit more than confused, I gotta admit. <laughs> Eddie, Godzilla attack. No idea what that's like. Oh, wait, no. Crump sent me all the sewage from his SimCity town, and then I got shit monster attacked. Yeah, no. I, I remember doing that. Have you seen the size of this mom, Lero? Because <laughs> that, that may have a lot to do with it, quite honestly. So, here you go. Cobalt Streak has found himself, if nothing else, a library. So, we'll have to see. He's probably going to go in here and see what he's got. Although, he's running kind of low on keys. And going into the chest, you want to have four keys. So, well, never mind. Answers that question. Golden Key will definitely get Cobalt Streak in here. And he's going to take that Book of Belial. So, again, another item we've seen both racers with in this head-to-head. -head. Uh, he's going to get Time and Half Damage Multiplier if he ever uses that in a room. So, again, very nice finds. And speaking of that Book of Belial, he's going to use it right now to take these things out. Oh, absolutely, John. I'll be terrible about playing this. Like, I'll probably play it on PC so that I don't have to play with a controller. But, yeah, I'm definitely excited. All right, so the moon card would teleport Cobalt Streak to his seeker room. He's thinking about what to do. Yeah, he's going to take that teleport. See where he winds up. Ooh. This could get interesting, depending on where he bombs out of here at. Uh, why'd he take the way out to the left? Oh, because he would have known already if those were boss fights over there. I probably would bomb out to the bottom, honestly. Interesting. So Wolf's got Red Mom, so you can see the difference here. Red Mom will only stomp her foot and uh, open up her eyeballs just every now and then, but usually it's just the foot stomp. And you can see all you have to do is dodge back and forth, and you're pretty much good to go. Yeah, that double balls of steel. Gotta love when that happens. Also, Isaac's Fork, uh, I don't think Wolf is really getting any usage out of that. That will actually uh, heal you for Red Hearts every couple of kills. So that's kind of funny that that's one of the the, uh, the two trinkets that he's holding on to. He'll replace that one with the uh, the Polaroid momentarily here. Who got second in the uh, the Publix this month? Uh, it was Jim Drizzle. Came in as one of the backups, proceeded to get all the way through to the finals and put up a damn good fight too. So there's more range up for Wolf. Like I said, he's going to wind up replacing... There we go. He's taking the red patch and the Polaroid with him. He replaced that Isaac's fork that did him no good whatsoever. And he's getting a loading screen error going into the womb. Oh my. Well. Really, really, really. Oh game. Do it. Do it, game. Give him an XL floor. Give him an XL floor and make this even. Come on now. Oh, Utero won. Damn it. I was going to say really to this. Nope. Did not get the XL floor, so he just got a normal one. That was just a, a real quick loading screen error, but I hate when it taunts you like that. Like, I swear Edmund put that in there on purpose. I swear they put that in there on purpose. What does the fork do? Every couple of heals, it'll heal you. Or every couple of kills, it'll heal you for red hearts. By the way, I would like to point out how much more effort it takes to misspell please by leaving out one letter and reorganizing one letter. Like, just spell it correctly, for God's sake. There's so much less brain effort involved with that. And you look way less fucking stupid. So there's Cobalt's boss fight, so he found himself a great way out of this. Like, again, I was thinking, like, well, why isn't he bombing out to the right? Because he knew full well those could not be his boss fights. 
Uh, so he has found himself his uh, two boss fights here very, very quickly in his uh, womb, uh, womb uh, XL floor. I almost called it womb one. <laughs> Taku. Sadly, it could probably be done. Anyways, double Loki here. Well, technically speaking, double Loki or Loki 2, whichever way you want to look at that for Cobalt Streak, so... Somebody might owe a dance later, because that's a total boss fight. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can see all the faces in his chat, too. That's great. Uh, let's see, right... <laughs> dog. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Uh, but let's see, right now, technically speaking, uh, Cobalt Streak is in the lead. Uh, he is fighting the uh, the first of his two boss fights here for the womb. Uh, Wolf is not on an XL floor, so he's got this entire womb one floor to get through. Uh, hopefully he comes across his boss. Oh, no, he finds a dead end. So herein lies the problem. Uh, Wolf has got to get through this entire floor and find his one boss fight, and then get through the entire womb two and find this boss fight that Cobalt Streak is on right now. Uh, so that is why an XL floor in the womb is a huge help in these races. Normally not necessarily the greatest of things, but in these races, very, very nice. So that is a huge find right there. Yeah, game, why you know be even? Because random numbers are random. Oh, yeah. Cat, seriously, not right now. Get out of the power cables. You only wait until I'm doing this. So again, making his way through the Mom's Heart fight right now is Cobalt Streak. Wolf's still looking for that boss fight here on Womb 1. So right now, Cobalt Streak with a good floor, yeah, we, we, we'll probably say floor plus advantage because he's already taken out the boss fight on Womb 1 as well, so think about that. Well, the D6 is good and all, but this character doesn't start with it anyway, so it's a random 1 of 200 and some odd chance that you even come across it. So it's kind of moot point. It showed up in the chest for Cobalt in the last run, so that's kind of not so moot point, mind you. But nonetheless, you get the idea. It's pretty rare, nonetheless. You got, what, a half a percent chance of coming across it? Oh, yeah, it's still anybody's game. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not just like, oh, Cobalt's got a floor lead. It's over. Definitely not. I've seen some craziness go down. Like, some serious craziness go down. Yeah, well, Book of Belial is only the time and a half damage multiplier, though. So let's say that you've got... Uh, we'll say four damage, whatever the case might be. If you've got four damage, time and a half of that is, it would put you up to six damage. So it's still good. It's plus two damage for that room, but nonetheless. So let's see. Cobalt finishing off Mom's Heart is going to move on up to the Cathedral. And again, holding on to the Polaroid once he finishes off his Cathedral floor, we'll be moving on up to the, uh, the chest as well. Totally forgot to mention, he's got 99 cents right now. And he found himself a beggar. I was going to say, the one thing that he could find up here would be beggars or perhaps an arcade that he could make use of. But so far, so good. First room, he finds exactly what I was about to mention. It's like the game knows right before I'm about to say something, I swear. And he gets some health up out of it, so... Uh, not that he cares about the uh, the cost, but a six cent health up, so not too terrible. Yeah, Wolf has Mom's Eye and Contact. Yes, he does. So that's why he's firing out the back of his uh, the back of his head there, and has freeze effect for that matter. Ah, oh, there's no arcades up there. I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure there might be. There's obviously libraries, so don't quote me on that though. It's been a while since I played too. All right, so telepathy for dummies, that would be homing shots for the room. Book of Anarchy would be six random bombs spread out for the room. I'm not sure. <laughs> Diana, you're supposed to spell no right. There is a W in that word, as opposed to all the other words that you add Ws to. <laughs> I'm just going to point that out for the irony involved with the fact that you forgot a W. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a best of three, so Cobalt's looking to finish off the league as his uh, undefeated season, and uh, Wolf is looking to even this up and force a game three right now. So there's the uh, the second piece there, or second cube of meat, rather. Oh my god. 
Wow. Wolf found the knife. It is stabby time. Oh my god. With freeze effect on the knife as well. Don't call it a comeback. Wolf can make this really, really, really happen quickly here. Watch the damage on this. Oh my goodness, folks. Don't call this a comeback, but uh, this could be a comeback. You have free knife. Damn right. So you notice what Wolf did there, right? Wolf took damage there so that he got a damage shield and proceeded to take a completely free knife. So that cost him no hearts. For those that don't know, with the Polaroid, you get that five second damage shield. Yeah, if you could do that, those soul heart uh, devil deals don't cost you anything. Wow. And that uh, inner compass working wonders for Wolf. Check this out. Immediately finds not only a library, but finds his boss fight right off the bat as well. So let's see, he's going to just pick those up, make sure he doesn't see him ever again, just in case. And he's going to head on into another room. Oh, I see why, because he's going to get another uh, soul heart out of the uh, Book of Revelations, and I'm being stupid now. So now into his mom's heart fight. He is caught up uh, pretty close here. Uh, Cobalt obviously having gone through most of his uh, cathedral level already, knows obviously where his boss fight is. So there is just about a one floor difference right now, but keep in mind, Wolf has got a game-changing item in that knife. So this can change very, very quickly. She didn't forget the W. She moved it to another word. <laughs> Too cat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is definitely going to get interesting, folks. So Cobalt slowly working his way through this double Loki room as Wolf is going to make his way on up to the cathedral here. So they are on the same floor right now. All Wolf has to do is find this boss fight. Let's see if his inner compass continues to work for him here. So again, taking that damage, getting five seconds of damage, uh, damage shield invincibility. Keep in mind, also getting that half a charge every time he gets hit with the uh, the habit, getting a half a charge on, or uh, I'm sorry, with uh, his battery, I should say. He's uh, picking up charges on his, uh, um, can't think of the name, Book of Revelations. So he's going to pick up soul hearts out of that the longer that he stays in rooms. You're not going to want to stay in rooms long in races, but nonetheless, he could pull soul hearts out of that. Again, Cobalt uh, just sitting outside this boss fight right now. Wolf we'll looking to catch up to him quickly here. Is ripping on through this uh, this floor, but nonetheless has found himself a dead end, so he's going to have to backtrack slightly. Yeah, Cobalt's got, like, no damage up. He's got piercing shots, but that is not damage up. So at this point, he's almost relying on the bird as much as his tears, as sad as that is. So yeah, this is where the uh, the big difference is going to come in right now. Wolf has got a huge game-changing advantage with that knife by comparison to Cobalt's damage. Look at how many rooms Wolf has cleared in this time. And there we go. Cobalt just about done here. There we go. Now he's going to be moving on to his boss fight. My goodness. Taking that little stretch beforehand. He's going to be working his way on in. There we go. So Cobalt versus Isaac here. With that Book of Belial for time and a half damage multiplier. So we'll do a little bit more. And on this note, Wolf is still looking for this uh, boss fight. Which way will he go? To the left. I can't. Getting interested? Hi. Getting interested now? Because it's getting interesting, huh? Yeah. The cat showed up. <laughs> Alright, so will Wolf find yet another dead end? Or will he be lucky enough to see a boss fight at the end of this hallway? He's going to actually go back over to the right and say the hell with that side. Where is he going? He's going to grab... Possible seeker room? Yes, indeed. All right, that didn't show him any other uh, rooms attached, so nothing working on those sides. He is going to try to the right, though. Let's see if this pays off for him. Uh, Mom's Pearl, 10% chance that uh, your uh, blue, uh, red hearts become soul hearts. So again, same thing with the, uh, the miter, except a far less chance of it happening. Uh, Cobalt just moving into uh, phase number two here on Isaac. You can see now why this fight is such a pain in the butt. If you don't have damage up, this fight takes forever and you get a lot of tears shot back at you. And I mean a lot of tears. So there we go. Wolf clearing out. Oh, that's terrible. A full red art. There's Wolf's boss fight. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys. Wow to this. Wolf is going to be heading on into this boss fight and we are going to be in the same room at the same time. Wow, and a balls of steel pill again. So Wolf, real quick, going to check for a super secret just to be on the safe side. Nothing doing. And on into the boss fight. So here we go, guys. With that, uh, yeah, Cobalt with that pea shooter damage. Watch how much more Wolf does. Let alone if he can get the, uh, the freeze effect. There you go. He got the freeze effect in on Isaac right there. So catching up damage-wise very quickly. Both at four hearts right now, for that matter, as well. 
but literally almost neck and neck. There is a little bit more damage on Wolf's side, but he will be okay with that, I'm sure, just to get through this fight quickly. Perfect timing on that freeze. That was lucky. And Wolf has taken out the boss, getting two soul hearts back out of it, and he's going to be moving on up to the chest. Where is he going? What are you checking for, sir? Ah, card. I see it now. Oh, wait, no, that's a trinket, isn't it? Uh, what the hell is he going for? What are you going for? You want that other charge? You want that other charge that bad? Oh, God. That's scary. Wow. That is scary. Okay. Um, hmm. I am a bit confused. I gotta admit. All right, so Cobalt the First on to the, the chest on that note. So let's see. Rainbow, baby. The rain bro. Oh, Abel. Another, uh, yeah, he should have picked that up. Another Anarchist Cookbook. He should have picked that up. <laughs> Ooh, Curved Horn for Wolf. This actually turned out okay for him. So there's two more damage up. Mind you, he's got, there we go. I was going to say, he's got to flip it around so he gets the right grouping of items with him. There's two more damage up for Wolf. He's getting a bunch of soul hearts off of these rooms, but you gotta wonder what's what uh, what he's taking this extra time for. Like I'd want the extra health, but well, yeah. here we go. This may be why he's doing it. Wolf is uh, working this out to an advantage right now, as Cobalt is risking this right now. One heart for Cobalt streak on the left. Ooh, boy, risky room for this too. Very risky room for this. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, God. Oof, oh. Man, this is like edge of your seat right now. My God. So, Wolf actually kind of doing the smart thing here, trying to get a few more hearts, I think. Because as you can see in the chest, you get some nasty rooms that you do not want any part of if you are low on health. Oh, man. Thankfully, he got two more damage up on his knife as well, so this works out very well for Wolf at the moment. But we'll see if uh, Cobalt can't keep himself from getting hit at any point here, because he is down to one blue heart. Man, this is edge of your seat tension right now. Again, Cobalt looking to finish off this floor and go undefeated this season and win the championship. Wolf now on the same floor, getting eh, not the greatest things. Little Chad completely useless. He'll take it anyways. Uh, he's going to keep his Book of Revelations instead of the two other uh, space use items. And we are on the same floor. Oh, Cobalt down. Cobalt down, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Cobalt down on the left. Oh, wow. And a couple of extra soul hearts for Wolf on the right as he is now very much in the lead looking to even this up. But wow, who would have thought on that one, ladies and gentlemen? Whew. So there you see a few resets. Yeah, like, wow, did that change the game here. So more Soul Hearts as Wolf gets his Book of Revelations use. And he's going to rip on through Gertie here in about three swings. There you have it. All right. Double super slots in this room for Wolf. Again, you can see the uh, Sacrificial Dagger also floating around Wolf. So yet another orbital. That does it actually block shots that will only do damage to everything that it hits. So you have to be close to it, but that'll do damage to everything. Looks like Wolf is going to build up a little bit more charge, if at all possible, because of his battery. I'd be a little bit scared of those uh, of those spiders, personally. This may not be the room I'd do that in. There we go. Now I'd do it. Ooh, Emperor card. Wow. Wow to that. All right, so use that two of clubs. Get your double the bombs. Emperor card. Instant teleport to your boss. And there you have it. Wolf's going to go for it, ladies and gents. So with five blue hearts, that freeze effect, Wolf is fighting the blue baby right now, looking to tie it up. So looking to force a game three right now. That freeze effect working wonders as Wolf has not even been touched. And he is already down to about 10% on the boss fight. Wow to this, because he was going the wrong way. But right there... Wow, that was one of the quickest blue baby fights I think I've ever seen in my life, and we are tied at one. Wow. Game three in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about there. Wow. Unbelievable. So what more could you possibly ask for right now? We got Cobalt Streak and Wolf tied at one round apiece here. Deciding game three. Whoever wins the next one is your champion this year, folks un -freaking believable tension right now. That was a hell of a run right there. Oh my god, was that crazy. 
that comeback with that knife, that free knife, might I add. Wolf is uh, singing that stabby, stabby, stabby song like nobody else's business. But my goodness, guys, that was freaking crazy. On that note, we're going to take another really quick two-minute break so that I can grab a refill because I am parched right now. Uh, so do the same. Grab yourself a smoke. Grab yourself a bite to eat. Come back in two minutes. We will be. We will get the uh, third round started, guys. So again, uh, wow. Finals, Blue Baby to the chest. One deciding match coming up in two minutes, guys. Get hyped for this. We'll be right back. Thank you again for the support. We'll be right back with you. All right, so we are back and we are clear. And like you see, there is a uh, vote going on right now. Uh, how the fuck did this stay in here? Oh, whatever. Good timing on this. Hold on, we'll turn this up for a second. Okay, tell me that isn't the perfect lead-in for, uh, for game number three right now. I mean, like, seriously? So, as you guys can see, there is a... Whoa, God, I forgot to turn the volume back down. Ow, loud. Loud, loud, loud. My bad. Sorry. I'm derp. I am a derp. <laughs> My bad. Uh, it's that uh, straw poll uh, vote, uh, or uh, link that you see. Or straw poll dot me uh, vote that you see up there. Or link, I should say. On that note, we are ready for match number three. I think I pooped a little... <laughs> How did I know that was going to be on your screen when I went back in there, Wolf? How did I know that that would be there? Also, my... Whoa! I just skipped over part of my song by clicking into the wrong part of... Oops, my bad. Anyways, nonetheless, how did I know that that would be on there? Yeah, I think I pooped a little. <laughs> That's so perfect. Oh, anyways, so guys, welcome in again. We are just about to start match number three here in a best of three, for that matter. Finals matchup between Cobalt Streak and Wolf21. Cobalt Streak looking to finish the season undefeated and take the championship. Wolf looking to win this one and take the championship out from underneath Cobalt Streak. Yeah, I beat a little. 
your fault. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Ow, cat, Jesus. Anyway, so like I said, we are tied up at one apiece here. Cobalt won the first race. Wolf just won the last one with a little stabby, stabby time. Uh, so we are dead even at one apiece. And again, these two are going to start at their earliest, uh, or at whenever they feel they uh, are ready to, I should say. Uh, but again, uh, it's that straw poll uh, vote. Uh, let me get the link copied. God damn it, it moved. There we go. Hold on. Uh, copy link address. There we go. Way to vote is what I'm looking right there. So that'll get you there. Uh, let's see. So right now, looking like 55% uh, voting one way on this one. So we are off and running. So let's see how accurate the 164 people that think the Cobalt Streak is going to win are. Again, we are still getting more votes in there. But yeah, so far it is uh, 55 to 45 right here. So we'll see how accurate you guys are. But this is pretty well split right down the middle, I got to say. So very, very nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So we'll see where we go here. But again, good luck to both racers. Whoever wins this is your champion of season number one here. And again, uh, just, wow, could not have asked for a better season nor a better finish to it. I, who could have asked for anything more than a game three right now? So again, this is uh, freaking awesome in my opinion. Cannot say this enough, but I'm so excited right now. And it looks like it's still that dead even break, so 300 and some odd votes later, 170 to 141. Oof. So a bunch of restarts happening here as nobody's gotten really good items yet. Uh, speaking of not really good items, there's that Yumheart again. I called it. I called it. I'm going to the casino later. I called that Yumheart for both of them. Cat, stop clawing my leg randomly, would you please? Stop doing that. I love how as I'm telling you to stop and I'm moving your paw, you're fighting it and doing the same thing over again. You're such a cutie, though, where you are. Alright, so Empress Guard for Wolf. Uh, let's see what we get in our item room. Ugh, telepathy for dummies. Cat, stop it. Cobalt Street gets Tooth Love, or uh, Tooth Shot yet again. Cat, seriously, stop it. Stop clawing me. Dude. It's the teeth. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. So the black bean for Wolf. He's actually going to take that. So panic farts. Every time Wolf gets hit, he's going to do uh, AOE poison damage there by farting. And yes, I meant what I said. I know. It's weird. I meant what I said, though. <laughs> Gotta love this game, don't you? So he's going to say no thanks. Uh, definitely going to say no thanks to that reset as he gets Eve's bird. And let's see. Brother Bobby. Not the greatest thing, but it is DPS increase. So that's damage per second. Uh, you see the extra uh, tears being shot out by Brother Bobby. <laughs> Christina. Oh, you think it looks that good with the uh, the puberty hit and then with the uh, uh, the tooth shot as well, or the tooth love, or whatever you want to call it? <laughs> Every time he gets hit, he poops a little. <laughs> now, that'd only be if you had, like, the battery, the, um, let's see, the, uh, the habit, obviously the poop. Actually, that would recharge every room, so you'd get that recharged every time you got the habit, so you'd only need the, the habit for that. <laughs> Drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Awesome, Otaku. So we'll have the uh, the sign-up uh, done tonight, then. So we'll have the uh, sign-up for Season 2 up tonight. So again, uh, starting on May 31st, uh, if you guys are interested and you think that uh, you can hang with uh, people like Cobalt Streak and Wolf, for example, good luck. Um, nonetheless, if you guys think that you can hang with our finalists, for example, and you think you have a chance at it, uh, we're taking 32 teams next season. Uh, so it's going to be kind of crazy, but there's the info for you, at least the prelim preliminary info to get you kind of a general idea of what's going on. Uh, we'll uh, get signups up and, uh, yeah, we'll get everything kind of uh, hammered away real soon. We'll have those up tonight for you. But yeah, starting May 31st, you're looking at about a five and a half month season. We're basically taking the NFL schedule. We're racing every Thursday through Monday night. Uh, so all the way through like Tuesday morning, basically, my times. And keep in mind, I'm in America, but Thursday through uh, Tuesdays, basically, are going to be uh, a lot of Isaac racing, 16 races a week. So, yeah, it is going to be crazy. I'll wait till season three. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, Cobalt Streak rocking the uh, the Book of Shadows already. He's definitely going to take that health up as he goes into a uh, challenge room here. 
So again, rocking a uh, Book of Shadows. That's 12 seconds of, uh, of uh, invincibility. Pardon me, couldn't think of the right word. And uh, has got that tooth shot. You can see every now and then he's firing teeth out of his mouth here. Somehow out of his eyeballs, which is kind of scary if you really think about the logistics of that. Uh, Wolf just picked up the Halo of Flies, so along with that Cuban meat that he's also got, uh, he's now got three orbitals already surrounding him, so very nice finds already. So he's definitely going to take less damage. Uh, he's got, a obviously, a very good chance that anything coming in is actually going to get blocked. Yeah, there's a second page on that, by the way. Uh, I suppose I should probably point that out. Also, very nice. Again, the compass already for wolves. So a basement two compass. And he's going to look for four more cents, possibly, so he can get another soul heart out of that. <laughs> What's up, Skite? How you doing? <laughs> no problem at all. Everybody's f always free to lurk away. Never feel bad about that. <laughs> we'll just try to get that spider. There we go. Finally got it to come out of the corner for him. Just far enough out of the corner. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Frosty, is if it's out by then, I would love to use Rebirth for Season 3. Obviously, Season 2, that's there's no chance, but... You know what I mean? Like, Season 3, theoretically, like, if it's coming out soon after Season 2 ends, I'll hold off. I'll gladly hold off. Hey, Rebels, how you doing? Because I would love to see what they change up in that. Like, I'm I'm so excited to see what he does for that. That's up, Jacobs. So, again, welcome in, guys. We are in the finals here. Uh, we got both racers on Basement 2 right now. Wolf just finished off his boss and picked up the item box here. Uh, so let's see if he's actually willing to take that pill. I highly doubt it. He will go into that god room, however. Oh, wow. The Sacred Heart. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Kotaku, go to a... Yeah, go to a fucking casino, bro. Wow. So one of the most overpowered items in the entirety of the game. Wolf has got it. Uh, look at that shot changer. Ladies and gentlemen, that... Oh, wow. And the Horror of Babylon immediate. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, the damage Wolf is going to be doing right now. Holy Moses, dude. Yeah, Wolf go to a fucking casino. Holy Moses, guys. Um, Wow, the damage Wolf is putting out on these shots, let alone homing capabilities on the shots as well. But wow. Wow to this. Unbelievable. So this is setting up very interesting here for what is the absolute final run of our uh, first season here of the Binding of Isaac Racing League. Could you ask for anything better than that? Oh my god. Unbelievable setup. So again, <laughs> wow. Just wow to that. If I'm not mistaken, that's what, a 4x damage multiplier? Let alone uh, Horror Babylon's what? How much more on that? Ugh. Disgusting damage there. Yeah, 4x damage multiplier on Sacred Art. That's what I thought. Unbelievable. <laughs> there you go. Well, I could ask for a best of seven. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable finds on that. Like, that is insane. So Cobalt, having finished off his boss, by the way, is on to Caves 1 here. So they are on the same floor right now. Uh, has, uh, keep in mind, two shot. Definitely not a bad thing, so it's not like he's doing bad for himself here. He's got a lot more health than Wolf is rocking right now, too. And keep in mind, Wolf is a very large target as well. Now, mind you, he's gonna kill a lot of stuff very quickly, but he is a very large target. Yeah, plus one soul hard, full health, tears down, and slower tears, so they move slower and you fire them slower, but note the, uh, note the difference in, uh, damage and tier size. Yep, the signups will be open later tonight. We got the uh, uh, the info here for you, but uh, the signups will be open later tonight. We'll have the same info on there. Might be updated just slightly there. Uh, Wolf got the Sacred Heart, followed by uh, Horror Babylon in the very next room. Uh, so Wolf is rocking a lot of extra damage right now, because as a blue baby, Horror Babylon is always active. So damage multiplier with the Sacred Heart and damage up with the Horror Babylon as well. So he is looking at very nice tiers. And into his boss fight, he's going to get Fistula. Watch how quick he goes through this. Especially with the homing tears. So there's that damage you really have to worry about, especially with the size of your character. Now if he can just get some tears up, if he gets Squeezy as his boss reward, Wolf will be a very happy man. Ah, uh, health up. He'll definitely take it. And Demon Baby for Cobalt Streak. So again, a very great little follower there. Anything that gets in close to you, that's going to fire out little, uh, not homing, but, uh, um, 
you'll see them. Uh, little uh, red shots that are very high damage. There you go. They're basically homing shots. Like, he will aim very well at whatever it is that he's following, or that he's trying to shoot at. Yeah, breaking news, Sacred Art Band next year. No, it'll never happen. <laughs> That'll never happen. That's just one of those things. It is a game changer, but even so, it's rare as hell. Because we've seen all of what? Maybe like five this season, I think, total? Maybe I think five total this entire year. So there's a counterfeit penny for Wolf. That'll actually have a chance to add one penny onto any coin that you pick up. Uh, so dimes might be worth 11 cents. Uh, nickels might be worth six. Uh, pennies might be worth two. So again, he's actually going to go for these, because, hey, you might as well. And there you see a little bit of that enacted. How come the Dead Sea Scrolls are banned? Good question, Forksy. Uh, they can actually give stuff like the uh, uh, the shovel usage. So instead of worrying about, like, oh, uh, well, it, it did a shovel. Can I use that? We just figured, screw it. We're just outlawing it. It'll be easier. No, it adds one penny. It doesn't double it. All right, Wolf into his item room. Wow, Harlequin Baby as well, so very nice. Now now he's got, a, again, kind of like Demon Baby, except two of them coming out in a V-shaped pattern. Yes, it is. Uh, nah, yes, it is. Yeah, I know, and Cobalt's getting, like, no Devil Deals and no God Rooms. Like, very, very odd. And yeah, the one thing Wolf really wants besides Tears Up is Range Up. He would definitely like some Range Up. I do not think he would argue it. So again, both racers right now on Caves 2, they are pretty well dead even here. It's kind of hard to tell. Wolf has got a Curse of Darkness, so it's very hard to tell where he's uh, looking at on his map. Uh, Cobalt just picking up Mom's Purse there. That'll give him uh, two Trinket spots, so he'll be able to pick up something on top of the Goat Hoof. Uh, that Goat Hoof, by the way, giving him plus movement speed. Again, still using that Book of Shadows. That's 12 seconds of invincibility whenever he uses it. Uh, Wolf making his way on through. Ooh, very nice. Here you go. So watch when uh, Wolf picks up money here when uh, Greed drops it. So you'll see sometimes when he picks up a penny, it'll be two. That obviously is double, but, like, should there... Okay, never mind. It's not going to really show too well. I was going to say, if there's a, uh, a nickel or a dime somehow in there. Instead, uh, he will drop that counterfeit penny, take Mom's Pearl. That'll be a 10% chance that he's going to get uh, a Soul Heart to spawn instead of a Red Heart. So definitely a good thing, especially as a Blue Baby. No, if you pick it up and use the Dead Sea Scrolls, you immediately have to reset your run. That's why it's a banned item. Alright, so we're getting another Devil Deal. My goodness. Uh, Luckfoot and the Quarter. Yeah, no thanks. And, well, possibly with the Luckfoot, but definitely not the Quarter for three hearts. Let alone he doesn't have three hearts, so it's a moot point one way or the other. And moving on to his depths one, so a very slight advantage right now for Wolf in the fact that he is on the depths. Uh, one problem is that he's got masks in the first of those depths rooms, and he is down to one and a half hearts at the moment. So a couple of things to think about there. He does have a hell of a build, but he is huge. He is a large and in charge target. Oh god, and he's down to half a heart because, like I said, he is such a large and in charge target that he's kind of hard to avoid some of these things. Cobalt, on the other hand, is working at ten soul hearts already. Uh, Wolf getting into his uh, last or second to last item room. Ooh, the band D6. So again, Cobalt decided that the D6, being that it was a random item, that's the second time it showed up today. How ironic is that? So of all things, like you think, oh, you're never going to see it on the blue baby. It showed up twice today, once for each of the racers. Go figure. Uh, but that is a banned item, so Wolf will have to just flat out leave that behind. See, Cobalt's going to consider he will actually take that odd mushroom for his uh, fire rate up. So you had to look at his stats there real quick, because that does mess with your stats just slightly. Uh, but he did decide to take it, so he's got pretty well capped out uh, fire rate here. Now, D6 uh, will reroll items completely. All right, so Cobalt about halfway through this Gertie fight already, working his way side to side, as you can see. Yeah, exactly. And now, like, Cobalt's this little, little, bitty guy, because he got that little, little, bitty, bitty mush. And we got Wolf as this gigantor with these gigantic tears. Wow, there's damage up for Cobalt Streak. Exactly what he was looking for. So two damage up there off of the uh, the pentagram for Cobalt Streak. 
and he moves on to his steps one. So again, both racers on the same floor. Gobalt getting into his secret room, getting a bunch of money there. He's going to try down to the south here to see what he can find first. Wolf into his item room. Going to probably not really consider that pill. Yeah, I didn't think so. So he takes the soul heart, if nothing else. So a little bit of safety. And Cobalt has immediately found his way to his item room. Very nice uh, internal compass there for him. Alright, Wolf getting into his secret room there. Very nice uh, choice of where to go. Ooh, that's exactly what he was looking for, for that matter. Looking for some soul hearts here as he gambles. Uh, Cobalt again with that forever alone attack fly. So again, a little bit more DPS. Cobalt knows how to use that very well to his advantage. So you'll see him actually, you notice he just hit the, uh, the green bug with that there. Cobalt definitely knows how to time that thing correctly, so he will do uh, kind of wonders with that, especially against bosses. Oh, what's up, Frosty? How you doing? And yeah, again, it's a very close run, even with that uh, Sacred Heart there for Wolf. So it's still a very neck-and-neck -neck run here, and again, this is a best of three, so whoever wins this is your champion this season. We are in the championship race, this is a best of three, and we are in match number three. So whoever gets through the chest first is going to be your champion this season. Cobalt looking to go undefeated, Wolf looking to hand Cobalt his first loss and take that championship home with him. So again, it is crazy close right now. That last race, for that matter, wow. Just all I can say to the last race is wow. Oh, look at this. Speaking of wows, uh, Wolf is fighting the Fallen, so that means that he's going to get a Devil Deal item off of this. So yet another uh, possibility at a very, very good item here for Wolf. And there are a few things he could pick up that would just be like, well, this might be a little bit too much right now. Uh, the nail might kind of sort of be one of those. Replacing the poop with an item that gives you soul hearts. Wow. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, you can see the lower left corner which level, uh, which level they're on. Uh, both are on an Acropolis floor. Wolf is on the second of those, though. So that is depths two, the wolf is on, and Cobalt at the moment is on depths one. So the nail for, uh, for Wolf, like I said, when you use it, gives you one soul heart, also ups your damage in the room. So yeah, against bosses, you're definitely going to see that utilized by Wolf if he has a charge available. Without question, you're going to see that utilized. Yeah, Wolf is like barely in front, especially because Cobalt just got to his boss fight here. So two of diamonds, uh, doubled up Wolf's money, taking the full card back with him. That would be a teleport to the first room of the floor. Very nice dodging there. Ow! Cat, I love you, but stop clawing me randomly in the groin, douchebag. <laughs> Seriously, great way to wake up. Oh, let's claw the human in the groin. Ow. So Cobalt's fighting the uh, the Headless Horseman here. Sorry about that. Cat really decided to turn into a douchebag there. Ooh, the Relic for Cobalt Streak. So even more Soul Hearts incoming. Uh, let's see, he is going to take and use the... Uh, Headless Horse, not exactly, or the Dead Pony, I should say, not exactly sure why, but nonetheless, he knows he won't ever see it again. I think he'd have to fight the Headless Horseman to ever see it again, but nonetheless, made sure that he won't. Uh, so it takes the Book of Shadows on with him, and as you can see, utilized it here. Definitely going to leave that pill behind. Yeah, dumb three followers for Wolf. Ghost Baby, um, Harlequin Baby, and uh, I can't think of his name, uh, Brother Bobby. <laughs> it took me forever to think of the first item. Brother Bobby, good lord. So Andu is uh, looking at his boss fight already, his Cobalt Streak. This is going to get interesting. Uh, he already knows the Wolf has got his item room here and is working towards his boss fight. Uh, we'll see if Cobalt is willing to pass up the item room here. Indeed he is. Uh, so Cobalt is going to go onto his mom's uh, foot fight here. There is no teleport out of here for him unless he finds a way randomly with perhaps that Wheel of Fortune card. Uh, it could happen. But nonetheless, if he does, or he's probably not going to get his item room here. So the last of his item rooms is going to be passed on by Cobalt Streak in favor of a slight bit of time advantage. And I don't know that I blame him, honestly. So there's Wolf getting that damage back, or getting the uh, health back. Again, growing in size and getting more damage up with that nail usage. I love the way his character looks right now. Just as he's doing some more da uh, gambling here, he's looking for a lot more soul hearts. And again, I do not blame him. You saw what happened in the last run. He made sure to get health up and it won it for him. So that was quite huge. So he's doing the same thing right now. He's making sure he gets all the health up that he can get. These uh, purple machines have a very good chance of giving you soul hearts. Oh, check this out. Cobalt Streak again with the loading screen. Oh my. Oh my. We shall see. Will this be yet another XL floor? 
Or will it just be the holdup for no apparent reason? Wow. Who determines which items are banned? I do. Technically speaking, I do. Uh, Polaroid gives you a 5 second damage shield every time you get hit and you're down below 1 red heart. Ooh, nope, just a normal loading screen error for Cobalt, so he gets a normal Womb 1 floor. Well, it's a utero one, so he gets the expansion version. But nonetheless, uh, Cobalt just gets the, uh, the normal 2 floor layout this time. Yeah, we let the Racers vote this season, and I, I kind of like the way that it sets up as it is, so... We're going to keep it like that. So there's Wolf getting to his boss fight here. So he's got just about half the damage left to do on this mini boss. And he'll get onto his mom's foot fight. So again, not too far behind Cobalt right now. This is pretty neck and neck right now. Looks like he's considering, but he will not do it. it Wolf was uh, probably considering getting a nail charge there. But too little too late. He's just going to go into mom's, uh, uh, mom's foot fight and take her out. Already down probably close to about the 60% mark, so he's ripping on through this with his damage with his Sacred Heart. Again, that second floor Sacred Heart for Wolf. And yeah, Cobalt Streak's still in the lead, so that should tell you everything about the skill of these two racers. These two are flying right now. Like, flying right now. Oh, exactly, Doc. No, you make a very fine point. Like, it's really smart, and especially with the luck that Cobalt just had right there, finding his inner compass and getting right to his boss fight. Cobalt did a very good thing. He's putting the pressure on Wolf by making him think, like, oh, I've got to go as fast as I can. I've got to go faster. <laughs> got to go fast. That was up, Joker. And, yeah, best of three. Oh, it should show up in a second or two. Usually it takes a while. So there's that nail charge again for Wolf. He's probably going to hang on to it this time. Nope, actually, I take that back. He's going to use it here. Will he get enough of a charge when he gets to his boss fight, though? Hmm. Very nice. Welcome home, Ataku. Yeah, internal compass. <laughs> dat guess, let alone dat Loki fight, dat speed up, dat extra soul heart, and a guardian angel. So double speed orbital there for, uh, uh, for Cobalt Streak. You can see everything uh, spinning around him is going at twice the speed now. So he's got even more chance to block shots. So again, very nice find. Wolf's got just a few more rooms to go here. Looks like just one more after this, actually. So very nice empty room there. Exactly what he was looking for. But again, just barely in the lead right now is Cobalt Streak on his Womb 2 at the moment. Again, it, he got a utero floor, so he's got the expansion version yet again. But nonetheless, just barely in the lead at this point as Wolf is just about to hit his Womb 1 boss. Who, by the way, is death, and he is already ripping through this. So again, about 40% of the uh, the health gone on the boss. Already off of his horse, which is flying around. That thing is a real pain in the butt, but not with homing tears on your uh, on your uh, sacred heart shots. A stake found. Nice. All right, so just a little bit of damage left to do here. There's that uh, second cube of meat for a really good orbital. Oh, the banned Bible again. What is that, the third, fourth time Wolves come across that Bible today? So that is a banned item, so you can't do anything with that at all. Same with any of the banned items right now. Wow, that internal compass yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, Cobalt Streak with that internal compass active has gotten right over to his boss fight again, so he's keeping the pressure right on here and onto his mom's heart fight already. Uh, Wolf has got, let's see, one, two, three, probably four more rooms to clear here. After this, that is before he even gets to this fight. <laughs> Check this out. You show off. Cobalt's gambling while he's fighting Mom. You double time and show off. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now that, that, that's killing two birds with one stone. No pun intended, but... And yes, this is a best of three. And yes, you are, Moskin. How you doing? So again, on the, uh, the left, we have the undefeated so far, Cobalt Streak, looking to stay undefeated. On the right, we've got Wolf 21. Again, this is a best of three with the blue baby to the chest. So again, whoever takes out the chest first here is your first season champion. Cobalt Streak looking to stay undefeated. Wolf looking to knock him off. Like I said, uh, this has been so dead even so far tonight, I or this afternoon. I don't even have words for it. This has been more than anybody could have asked for. This has been so great. Just so great. Yeah, that gambling problem. That gambling problem. But again, seriously, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Like, this has been so much fun for me. This entire season's been a blast. I hope you guys have been enjoying everything up to this point as well, because, man, this has been just absolutely phenomenal for me. So, and again, uh, thank you to all the racers. It's just been just so great. I have no words. 
And notice this. Here's how even we are tonight. Same damage. Same damage on the bosses. Wolf has now taken himself a very slight lead here. So again, because of that Sacred Heart, Wolf has now moved himself just barely into the lead because Cobalt has way less damage. That Sacred Heart is a four times damage multiplier. The funny part is that Wolf, right after picking up the Sacred Heart, also got the Horror Babylon. So he had a lot of damage gained in just two rooms there. Ooh, and a Curse of Darkness on his Cathedral floor. Ouch. Not what Wolf is hoping for, because he could at least be able to tell normally where his boss fight was at, but now this is going to help Cobalt streak out quite a bit catch up here. So again, it'll, uh, unless Wolf gets lucky and happens across his boss fight, it could happen. It does happen quickly sometimes. So again, making his way quickly, although into a dead end here is Wolf. And Cobalt Streak just about finished with this Mom's Heart fight. There we have it. Getting one more Soul Heart out of this. He's going to skip on the money, and he'll be up to the Cathedral as well. So again, both racers on the same floor. This is almost neck and neck, guys. Uh, Cobalt Streak and Wolf just looking for a boss fight here. Again, there's this floor and the chest to go. So two floors to go to determine the champion this season. Two floors left, and they are both even. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable detention on this one, guys. Oh god, that twin greed and that twin greed again. Unbelievable. So back to backs for that matter. He speeds killing you. <laughs> oh, what do you expect? Look at the size of him. <laughs> So again, Wolf with that dead end clears out the room, is going to get back out of here. He's going to try to bomb out and try to find a secret room or super secret, if nothing else. Thanks for your incredibly informed opinion. That was so in-depth. I am now convinced from his one opinion. Oh, this game sucks. Blip. And I have a booger in my nose. One of us is correct. See what I did there? <laughs> Rapid sure. Oh, uh, that's why I love you guys. All right, so we'll get that full charge on his knife yet again. Cobalt Streak working his way backwards as he had found the original dead end here. <laughs> An original dead end, I should say. Wolf on the other end. I have no idea with that Curse of Darkness what he's looking at here. I cannot tell you what he's looking to uh, or where he has left to go or how many rooms it looks like he's got going for him, which is a real shame because he should be able to see everything on this map. Oh, God. Gambling time. Wolf's going to gamble a little bit here. Wow, check that out. Another pretty fly. So that would have been a fourth orbital if he would have had room for it. He only get three, but... And yes, you did. A taco called the knife. You also called Sacred Heart. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see that until you just typed it. But yeah, you also called the Sacred Heart there, too, so... So let's see. Cobalt knows he's probably got, at the most, one, two... Counting this one. One, two, three, four more rooms to clear, I'm guessing. And he'll definitely be in his boss fight. Wolf again has a Curse of Darkness. I can't even begin to tell you how close he is or how far away he is from his boss fight. Why do you take Blue Baby's soul? Why not? Because that way, at least, as the Blue Baby leads around the uh, the Demon Baby, if it gets close enough to, uh, to the enemy, there you go. You'll see the Demon Baby actually shoot. So now Cobalt doesn't have to get face planting uh, close to the enemies to make Demon Baby worthwhile. Now Demon Baby's actually, like, walking around shooting like a normal enemy would. Or a normal follower would, I should say. So it's actually kind of a genius move. Being that he's got the two spots, he might as well. He's got a uh, mom's purse, so he can hold on to two trinkets at once. Speaking of gambling, well, let's go to the casinos, folks. Cobalt gambling on a purple machine. Wolf gambling on a red one. Who comes out in, a, or in the lead? Let's find out. Ooh, stars card. So that'll actually be a random teleport for uh, Cobalt Streak. So we'll see if he actually wants to use that. There's the connection to Cobalt's uh, boss fight. So again, just a slight advantage right now for Cobalt Streak and that he knows where his boss fight is. Wolf's going to keep gambling here, looking to get perhaps a Hierophant card. Now he's on his way out, now that he knows that. 
Now, Wolf will continue on, so we'll see how quickly he comes across this boss fight here. Dude, don't even buy scratch offs to talk. Like, get actual lotto, lotto tickets at that point. Like, at least make your 10 bucks, like, possibly worth something. All right, so Cobalt onto his boss fight. Like I said, he's going to fight Isaac here again. Remember, he has very low damage. Like, very low damage. Now, mind you, Blue Baby's soul will lead around Demon Baby, and you can see it is actually firing almost consistently at the boss here for him. So that could be a large, large damaging game changer for him. Uh, again, every time he gets hit, the Polaroid will give him five seconds of damage shield that you can see active right there. And he does have two shots, so if he can get those teeth lined up, that'll be perfect timing for him. Wolf has found his boss fight here. So again, they are very close. And remember, Wolf has got uh, Sacred Heart and Horror Babylon. So he's got a lot more damage than Cobalt does, and you will see him rip through the boss fight by comparison. But right now, Cobalt streak about a 50% advantage here. Wolf is actually going to take a second and see what he gets there. Yeah, I would pass on that as well. So on to his boss fight. We are in the same room at the same time again in the absolute final race of the season, guys. And watch how quickly Wolf will rip this to shreds with the Sacred Heart damage. So they're almost equal in health as well. Cobalt just getting hit again there. So there's five more seconds of damage shield. Cobalt's going to face plant the, uh, the boss for a second here. Ooh, I don't think he got the extra damage shield off of that. So one more mini enemy to take care of. And Cobalt's on his way up to the chest. So just a few seconds of advantage there. Wolf again doing the same thing here with the, uh, the damage shield enacted. Uh, so let's see. Scapular, very nice find there. Along with, uh, look like homing shots for, uh, Cobalt Streak, so he'll take both of those. He's gonna leave behind the Book of Belial, though. And Wolf's got just a few more mini-enemies to take out. There we go, and he'll be up to the chest. Let's see what Wolf winds up with out of his four. Ooh. Mom's Contact, Magneto. Will he take the ten bombs? That teleporting remote? Possibly not. He's definitely gonna take the, uh, the nail with him. So again, all it's down to is who finds this boss fight first, probably. Wow, is this close, guys. Unbelievable edge of your seat action right now in the finals here. Again, last race of the season. Whoever wins this is your champion of the first Binding of Isaac Racing League season. So again, good luck to both racers. This is so close right now, guys. And oh, Wolf down to that one and a half hearts right now, getting cornered by these Super Wrath Troll Bombs. Just nasty up here in the, uh, the, in the chest. Just unbelievably nasty. But, oh god, Super Lust for that matter. Two Super Lusts with slow speed. Uh-oh. That could be an issue for Wolf. He's down to half a heart. Oh god. Run away. Wow, that was close. Whew. Please be Balls of Steel. Oh my god, full health pill. Wow. <laughs> you couldn't have asked for anything better. Wolf's back up to three soul hearts. Oh my god. And again, with uh, two Super Lusts, he's going to have to use bombs to try and get away from these guys because they are going to hug the crap out of him. Oh, wow, these rooms. Wow, these rooms are just not being kind to Wolf at the moment. This is so not what he wanted. He does not have the speed to get away from these guys yet. Oh, Lord, he's cornering himself something fierce. Oh, one heart again. As Cobalt Street keeps working his way on, we know that Wolf has got one more room to go. Oh, that's a troll item by the chest right there. The Yum Heart is so useless. There is nothing Cobalt can do with that. Wow. Or with, uh, Wolf can do with that, I'm sorry. Wolf is on the right, I'm being stupid now. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, he's gonna look for that super secret. Oh, wow, he found one. Oh, wow, a one-up. Are you serious right now? Wow. Wow, that's why Wolf was looking. Oh my goodness. So he's got even more of a chance here. That's Abel also gonna follow around, uh, now for, uh, for Cobalt Streak on the left here. Wow. One up clutch timing, folks, and here we go. A clear room before the boss fight with just red poop in there. What do you do here? Do you take the damage and get the one up enacted, or do you just go for it? Here we go, folks. One heart, one one up. Wolf is looking for the championship. Oh my goodness. So here we go. Can he get through this without getting touched, or will this actually have to repeat itself? Cobalt might have one more room to clear after this until he finds his boss fight, if he's lucky. If he gets totally hosed over, it's up at the north part of the map. But wow, this is so close right now. Any little thing could change this, though. Keep that in mind. Everything hits you for one full heart. Wolf cannot take a hit right now. 
He can, mind you. It'll respawn him with a 1-up and 3 soul hearts, but... Ugh. Not a lot of time that you want to waste there. Below 50%. Can Wolf do this without being touched? Ladies and gents, it is so close to being over here. Unbelievably close. Can he do it? We're at about 10% health. Cobalt sitting at his boss fight. One extra enemy to kill. Oh my god! Back outside, Wolf has to go back in. Oh my god. Oh! That timing on that death. Oh my god. So the one-up saves him here, but nonetheless, Wolf has to re-kill the last boss, and we are both fighting the last boss right now. Cobalt with 12 seconds of invincibility with that Book of Shadows is going to drop every bomb he's got trying to catch up here, and this is dead even. Oh my goodness. This is so, so close right now. Oh, wow. My heart is literally jumping out of my chest. Oh my god, this is close. Wow. Place your bets now, guys. Cobalt with a slight damage advantage here. Running out of health for both of them. Wolf down to two hearts. Cobalt at three and a half. Both at equal damage. Oh my god. This is so ridiculously close. Wolf at one heart now. Oh my goodness. Cobalt with a very slight damage advantage. More enemies on the screen, though. Cobalt just done with the boss, only has enemies left. Wolf looking to finish off the boss, too. Oh! Wolf down, Cobalt wins it. Oh my goodness. Wow, what an ending. Wow, what an ending, guys. Wolf dies at the last second, and Cobalt finishes it off with two and a half soul hearts left. Oh my goodness, wow. What a finish to the first season. That ending is so well-deserved right now. Oh my god. Cobalt Streak, ladies and gentlemen, undefeated Cobalt Streak has won your first Binding of Ice Racing League season on the most hair-raising, nail-biting race I have ever seen. Oh my god. That ending, guys, wow to that ending. I literally, my heart is jumping out of my chest. I don't have words for how sweet that ending was. Wow, Wolf, just what a... I don't even have words. You should have had that, and that last hit got you at the last possible second, sir. Uh, just, oh, you were there. But wow, just unbelievable ending to that. We saw what should have been, I thought, a victory for Wolf. I almost called it, and that last shot just nailed him at the last second. But wow, Cobalt Streak. Again, unbelievable season, sir undefeated all season only two people that handed him any sort of a loss were fat shuffler and wolf so again great job by wolf you handed him cobalt streak two losses this season so great great job right there making it all the way to the finals winning your division for that matter but again just thank you so much for everything wolf you just were absolutely phenomenal this year sir yeah no words i did dude wolf i <laughs> Like I said, uh, that I about called your victory, sir. I, I had those words coming out of my mouth, and I saw that shot hit you, and I just, my jaw hit the ground. That ending, sir, just, oh my goodness. Just, I don't have words, but seriously, very well played. Thank you so much for everything this season, Wolf. I just, I cannot thank you enough. You are just the most gracious person ever. Seriously, people, follow up, Wolf, if you are not yet. I don't know how you're not yet, but if you are not, follow that man, please. Uh, somebody link up Wolf's channel for me, please, please, please. Um, on that note, though, Cobalt Streak, again, dude, undefeated. Congratulations on taking the victory this season. So uh, mcprohosting.com will uh, once again be, <laughs> it's like, oh, he doesn't do this enough. We'll be sending uh, Cobalt Streak some money as the uh, the victor here. Un, un, unreal, unbelievable. Oh, I'm, I will. It'll, every single one's going to be up on my uh, my YouTube. Every one that I can highlight is up there already, so we'll get everything else up there tonight. But like I said, a 2-1 to one victory in the finals. Cobalt Street goes undefeated this entire season and has won the first season of the Binding of Isaac Racing League, ladies and gentlemen. So again, hit up this game fetch link. Make sure to go into Cobalt Street's channel and make sure to tell that man congratulations because, wow the finish to that. I don't know how he didn't have a heart attack doing that, quite honestly, because I did calling it. Like, how my heart is in my chest, I don't know. I really don't know. That ending was just unbelievable, but all season long, Cobalt Streak has just unbelievably just mastered this entire game. 
I just seriously phenomenal, phenomenal job there by Cobalt Streak all season long. There is Wolves Link. So again, follow up Wolf, follow up Cobalt for me, guys. Seriously, uh, just thank you guys both so much for everything. Cobalt